meaning blue, and although it is not a birthstone, it is often associated with the zodiac signs of Aries, Taurus and Libra. Its clear, strong, blue to bluish green appearance has placed kyanite in the direct association with loyalty, serenity, calmness, innovation and dreams. For more of this incredible gemstone, stay tuned to us. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. So today on the introductory to jewellery making, um, I learned as a first time having a go at making jewellery, we learned how to do the simple loop, the wrap loop and then how to fix fastenings onto the pieces we've made. So I've had a go at making a few bits and pieces, um, a key ring, I've had a go at sort of looping different types of beads and um, gemstones onto uh, different types of chains. I've had a go at making this, so we had a go at making the beaded bead with some beads around it and then done the fastening at the back. Um, also made a few sets of earrings as well which we'll all take home and enjoy wearing. Good afternoon everybody, welcome all to Design Inspiration on this fantastical Saturday. It is going to get even more fantastical because I am joined by a wonderful guest designer who has already posted a little sneaky peeky of some of the things that she may be doing today <laughs> and it's got almost a hundred likes. Um, you are going to love what we have for you today. It is the lovely Fleur. Is you alright? Yeah. I'm getting better, aren't I? A little not, bit. Not so much of a delay I'd say reaction. it's you and Spellbinding are... <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> delayed reaction. Yeah, delayed reaction. <laughs> Hello, wonderful, how are you? I'm alright, thank you, are you? Uh, really good. Your pieces, don't get me wrong, they're always stunning, of course, but above and beyond a little bit today, I yeah, think. Lovely. Talk to us about your first designer inspiration, please. It's got the most amazing moonstone within mm. it, and it's the moonstone that you don't even have to turn it to see the blue sparks coming out of it. Yeah, so I've got that one and some 1.5. Maybe wire. Yeah. Which um, maybe, maybe wire. <laughs> That's a yes. But yes, definitely. One point five wire, which I've never worked with before. No. And I love it. Yeah. I love that you've done a bit of wire work as well. And I've had to follow Alison as well. Oh, <laughs> Queen I think of wire work. <laughs> it's stunning, isn't it, Alison? genuinely <laughs> stunning it's so so beautiful i love it and um, you've also got some square jump rings is alison are you trying to creep in for something love yeah. go on she sort of stood just get on in there alison <laughs> you water enjoy <laughs> have a lovely afternoon lovely um talk to us a little bit about those square jump rings you've got as well yeah I've not had silver square jump rings for a long yeah. time and I know that everybody was getting quite excited so we've done some statement pendants mm -hmm. with the square jump rings as well today mm -hmm. so hopefully we'll be able to show both of those um, and again amazing gemstones as always within that kit. And speaking of amazing gemstones how do you feel about your challenge? I can't wait. I've not even seen it yet. I know. I, I can't, can't wait, wait to hand it over to yeah. you. We've got a trio bundle for it. And, and in there, there is a strand of Larimar as well. Uh, that's coming up for you in a little bit. I have got so many astonishing gemstones today. I'm going to have a price slash section for you today. So keep your eyes peeled for that, please. I'm also bringing to you... You're not going to believe this. I actually don't know how I've managed to get my hands on this. I genuinely, genuinely don't. This is your Songean 
sapphire. I genuinely do not know how we managed to get our hands on this. This is the Sunshine Gemstone, and this is coming at you today before three o'clock. You've got to keep your eyes peeled for this because I'm happy to say I've got a couple of hundred. I'm really happy to say that. Well, well, I haven't. I've just got over a hundred. I'm happy to say that. However, you know how rare it is for us to have Songi and Sapphire in and you know how much of an important and esteemed gemstone this is. I'm going to be talking to you so much more about this very, very soon for you. I've got some Druzy in today as well as this strand of tourmaline. You've only ever seen it once before. The amount that we, I sold, I launched this with you actually. When I launched it with you, we, we sold sort of seven, around the 70 mark and I've got around that same amount today but it's my last in stock opportunity on this gorgeous strand of tourmaline you're not going to believe the price point of it genuinely genuinely with the, the fact that i'm about to say to you you're going to get tourmaline for under 15 pounds already is going to be shocking a lot of you that's coming up for you today as well um i've got some druzy coming up i've got some more laramar coming up i've got some chain coming up do you want to have a look at this chain this is a chain unlike anything i've seen before 10 meters worth of this chain what price point do you normally expect for your chain 25 pounds even even sometimes 19 pounds if we price drop it but look jewelry maker we're going to take it under 20 pounds for you today that is going to be an absolute bargain for you i've got so so much to come on um, and don't forget it's a, it is your chain mail show so we have got plenty of jump rings coming up for you as well say to me again lovely on the table on the table we're starting off with a bundle for you. I think you are going to adore this. We were thinking of giving this one to Fleur as her challenge, but we didn't because we know this is going to sell out and it's probably going to sell out at the point whereby we'll sell out within minutes and then we'll go and have a look at the challenge and everyone's going to love what she's made with it and you won't be able to buy it because it's sold out. So all I can say to you is this isn't a challenge, but you need to get in quick because this is going to be a sellout instantly get yourself on the phone lines 0800 644 655 for you feeling hot 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 who sung that song Ole. who sung that song go on play you'll know i know the song but i don't know who sang it no, I, I don't either. Anyway, let's let's find out. Um, okay, so you've got two strands here, as you can see. Uh, you have got four mil rounds on both of these, and they are faceted beautifully. Arrow, Arrow sung that. I've never even heard of Arrow. I bet that was a one-hit wonder. Yeah, one-hit wonder. A really good one. A really <laughs> good one. A really good one. Oh, the Merry Men. Now we're hearing the Merry Men. Still not heard of them. Nope. One it wonder. Nope. No, one it wonder. Um, you've got two strands here. They're both four mil and they are faceted for you. This is your lace agate, 30 carats worth there. That's on the bottom that you can see. Beautiful colours there. And you also have your orange striped agate as well. And those are in the four mils also. Um, you've got 30 carats worth on both of those two strands. So 60 in total. The workmanship you can see is impeccable because they are absolutely sparkling away. If you're one of those people that finds the small gemstones really annoying and fiddly, you know kind of the two mils or the three mils, for a lot of people, four mils are the appropriate accent size to go to without having to kind of mess about too much with, you know, all your fiddly, fiddly, runaway size gemstones. So these are going to be great for you if you want that gorgeous accented detail because every single one's unique, every single one's different. They're all faceted absolutely astonishingly. Almost micro faceting has to take place on these because they are so, so exquisite. Um, I love the fact that you've got such a large amount on this strand. Please note, no spacers whatsoever on here none that is just gemstone upon gemstone upon gemstone and these together actually i'm just thinking of that color is going to go fab with the chain that we've got isn't it that's going to real add some brightness and because of the large loops in here you could actually do clusters of these so maybe even three or five of these just on one link it's going to give you a really eye-catching effect isn't it um, when we're working with gemstones like this, it is nice to have that little pop, that little zest, that little zing in there. And the lovely appeal about these two is not only are they workable and usable because of their size, but actually one thing that's important to point out is the drill hole on these. Might be tricky for you to see, 
but the temporary strand on this is actually two strands worth so already you've got two strands worth going through there and you can actually see there's still plenty of space to work with there you'd easily get a 0.4 through here even possibly a 0.6 and maybe even your 0.8 actually when I look really close do you know what definitely a 0.6 through there possibly even a 0.8 so really really workable even though they're delicate and cutesy and sweet really easy for you to work with if you watched me as well binding yesterday um, you will have seen that she created these beautiful cuffs and pieces um, using little kind of mixtures of gemstones if you wanted to recreate that look without the bead scoop you could do it with these couldn't you a real delicate little appeal perfect for a ring actually I've got these two in them in the bundle but I've also got cabochons two now I know a lot of the time with cabochons we've only been able to tell you the carrot weight I can tell you the real deal what you're going to be getting with these ones though you've got the heart shape and this is your red stripe heart 35 mil on this it is your genuine real deal agate totally natural agate we've got here every single one will give you a different appeal you can of course use the front and the back when we talk about it being a cabochon we're talking about the shape of this so we're talking about the fact it's got a flattened back and the fact that it has a domed front the en cabochon cut it's known as won't have any drill hole for you whatsoever which is fantastic if you're into things like your viking knit even if you're into things like encasing your gemstones through crochet etc or your wire work um, or polymer your leather whatever it might be you can work this into your designs which is fantastic and no kind of irritating drill hole to have to try and cover up with these you've got approximately 50 carats worth on that one and I've also got the drop style same gemstone totally different look though because this is how mother nature works isn't it you've got individual different banding on this you've got around 40 by 30 mil on that one and you've got about 40 carats worth in total imagine these in soutache oh my goodness imagine you know the koala face with these in soutache with that banding around the outside that's what they're called isn't it it's called the koala face isn't it have I just made that up pretty sure it's called that pretty sure it is. It sounds funny, my producer said. <laughs> um, I love the idea of that. I love the idea also of encasing these within your polymer too, because we know we've seen that on Design Inspiration, how you can do that. And it's going to give a really beautiful, beautiful appeal. Um, we have got so much going on in here. You know that generally we've brought to you different style of cabs. We're around the £20 mark each, if they're the more kind of unusual gemstones, such things like Charite. We have got Agate here though, so it's something that we um, were able to get a really, really great price because we get quite a lot of it. We buy it in bulk. You've got two of your cabochons here. Now, when we're dealing with agate, even if you go to kind of your local craft stores, your local hobbying stores, etc., you know for agate cabs, you'll be looking at paying, well, it can be up to 17, 18 pounds, can't it? Depending on the size and the appeal. But it can also be down in price to, you know, eight pounds each, even seven pounds each. I saw one in the sale a while ago and they were working out at about five, no, they weren't. They were $6.99 each. They were around that anyway. $6.99 each. So even there, you've got kind of £13 worth just focusing on these two. Today, though, you're getting both cabs and two strands, your price point. £14.80 is what you would be paying. We are going to take this down though. This is designer inspiration. I've got price lashes coming up for you throughout the show. I've got high ends coming up as well. And we're starting as we mean to go on with £9.95 for you today. In some places, you couldn't even get just the cabs for that price. If you managed to, it would be an absolute bargain. There are already so many of you who have come in for this. I've got lots of multi buyers on it as well. If we were to give this to you, lovely Fleur, as your designer inspiration, what would you have done with it? I would have um, Viking weaved around one of the cabochons and then I'd have sewn the small gemstones around that as well to make a frame. I love that So idea. just with the same 0.4 wire, so yeah. make your fra back of your frame with your one, one mil wire and then 0.4 mil wire just to um, sew some of those beads in. and then maybe just make a simple, um, just a nice rosary link chain with the rest of the four mil beads, really delicate with a little jump ring in between. Love that idea. So many of you are coming in for this. Hello, everyone. Um, hello, Elizabeth. And hello, Raymond, Vivian as well. Loti, I've got multi-buyers on this as well. It's a beautiful collection, realistically, isn't it? Absolutely. 
absolutely stunning. And the lovely thing too is, we've had quite a few designer inspirations recently, kind of based around the cabochon, haven't we? So it's wonderful that you're able to look back on those and top up because let's face it, it's great to have a big bundle of, of cabochons and that's great. But what I really love about this the collection is the fact that you've actually got matching colours worth with your gemstones as well. That just works perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. And with the new wire looks that we've been having as well, if you're not used to setting your cabochons, that wire looks just hugs that cabochon. Yes. And we've got beautiful colours that will set that off go beautifully yeah. with it. Slight cue on the phone, but do not worry about it because it's free phone number if you're ringing off your landline. 0800 644 655. Half my stock is gone on this. Oh, hey, that reminds me. If you want to get in touch today, feel free. Give us a text, give us a message because Fleur's here with us up until five o'clock, bless her. And you know what she's like, fantastic teacher. Really very good at explaining things so if you've been doing chain mail or maybe you too are starting off wire work for one of the first times like Fleur has um, then do get in touch with us because she really will be able to help you out with any of those kind of needed pieces and also just to let you know sort of Fleur if you've maybe not seen Fleur before and um, she does create commission pieces there she, there she is she does create uh, commission pieces she does pieces for um, things such as um, your reenactments and things so if you do want any help with maybe pricing things up or how to get into that sort of area, Fleur's the lady to get involved with. 60777 is our text number. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Um, and also, if you want to get involved online or on the app, do so. If you've got the app on your phone or on your tablet or anything, it's the top corner, you'll see a little message that says send a message. Just type it in there. Get involved with us today. Uh, and we have a text in. Let's have a text. All ready. Gorgeous! I will be putting the cabs on suede and adding pops of red small beads around the edges. Elizabeth, fab idea. Beautiful idea. Gorgeous. Yeah. Really wearable as well. Yeah. Really light because of that suede. Stunning. And really touchable too. Yeah. Mm, Elizabeth loved that idea. Paula, I always try to watch Fleur's demo. She's fab. I have been doing chain mail for a while and she's such a good teacher. I completely agree with that, honestly. And the way I would agree with that massively is when my directors say, oh yeah, I understand that, you know that you are hitting the nail on the head. And time after time when you're on here, my, even my director knows what's going on. <laughs> so it, you're completely right, Paula. <laughs> and I will explain to you how little my director knows what's going on because I've just been talking about him for about a minute and he's only just tuned in and went, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much for that. Do you love teaching? I do love teaching, yeah. I've taught... Well, I've taught all my life really, mm. taught horse riding, then I was a lecturer at mm. college. So yeah, teaching's what I really enjoy. Yeah, you can tell, you can yeah. tell you've got love for it, definitely. 9.95 on this complete bargain. Check out those baskets, because once you lot check out, I won't have many of these left at all. 9.95 is gonna be a sellout in the next five or 10 minutes, so get it whilst you can. Now, I'm going to do the challenge bundle now. Now, just before I show you this challenge bundle, I really, really, really want to talk to you about one of the main focal gemstones that is in here. Um, I'm going to show it to you first off. Larimar. Larimar is your one locational gemstone. Larimar comes from the Dominican Republic and essentially there's a lot of history and a lot of lore and myth based around this but essentially what happened was um, they found these particles of this gemstone washed, washed up upon a beach and essentially a gemologist saw them, fell in love with them and basically requested to go and find exactly where these were mined and to go and mine them. So he was able to do so, he was able to go, um, it went up into kind of a, a very high hills I suppose, uh, around the Dominican Republic and he was able to find the location for this. He basically requested to mine it and got refused, straight out, got refused. It wasn't until years and years and years and years and years later whereby we were actually, they went back and asked again and, and were accepted. So this is a gemstone that we were not able to get our hands on for a very, very long time. The other important thing to note about this gemstone is it is one locational, but the one locational is, is so small. The mining area is tiny. Think about a one locational blue gemstone. Probably one's going to spring to your mind instantly. It's going to be tan tonight, isn't it? If you're thinking blue one location, that's probably the first one that comes to the forefront of your mind. The size of the mining area with tan tonight is approximately 16 square kilometers, approximately. Other one locational blue gemstone is this one here. 
and this mining area is one square kilometer. So essentially, it's approximately a sixteenth of the size of Tanzanite mining area, which goes to show you how kind of renowned this is. Now, when we talk about the Dominican Republic, you can actually go to the mining location for this. Have you got the picture of the window display for me, please, Ryan? Thank you. When you go to the Dominican Republic, this is such an important gemstone to them that they have whole windows in shops just dedicated to this gemstone. Look at that gorgeous display. That is beautiful, isn't it? But it just goes to show you, and they actually have, can you do me a favor? Can we have a look just at the bottom of that picture for me? Because they've got a section like this. Can you see that? Look at that, almost those waves of the roof like we have on this strand here. They go and spend so much time really really promoting this gorgeous gorgeous gemstone and because you're in the location because you're in the area because they spend time and and effort and energy promoting this gemstone in fact they have full full shops just dedicated to this gemstone we don't really do that over here we do it on say diamonds maybe if you go to you know the jewelry quarter in Liverpool or, or Birmingham or, or high-end uh, streets in you know London you'll have you know just diamond shops that only sell diamonds but other maybe pearls as well I suppose we do pearls just individual shops but actually other than that we don't really do it there though they do they just dedicate time and effort to this gemstone which means they will be charging the big bucks big money you can get a carrot's worth of your Larimar for triple figures in fact you were talking about Larimar before when I said to you that you were going to get a bit in your challenge yeah. and tell me tell everyone at home what you were saying my friend got a Larimar ring and it was 200 pounds and it was Quite small. It was about the same size as, as my little ring there. It was quite. It was a beautiful colour. Yeah. And it was a really lovely. And I think it was set in white gold. I think. I can't yeah. be quite sure. It, it's a white metal. But yeah, it was. It was a really small little bit. And it's a cabochon cut. It's not even got a. What's the point to be at the coup? Is it you the culate? Yeah, yeah, it's not culate. Yeah, it's, it's like a cabochon. Cut. It's a cabochon yeah. cut. Yeah. So possibly around what? A carrot, half a carrot, maybe. Uh, yeah, if that. If, if that, that, maybe yeah. 0.85 or something yeah. of a carrot. 200 pounds. Yes, you've got the precious metal there, but still, this is one of those gemstones that I think can get taken for granted here. But I'm so glad that we have this in a bundle because it means that I'm able to offer you 50 carats worth of this. 50 carats worth, and you're really going to get an appeal for the price when you actually see everything else that you get with it. I'm not just bringing that to you. Yet. I'm going to add a little pop and zest. This is don't forget flows challenge so you're going to get loads of info about this and how exactly to work with it you've got a bit of pop a bit of jest with that jest <laughs> zest uh, with that beautiful purple howlite not often we have howlite on and it's lovely when we do have it in to be able to apply colors like this to it beautiful rich purple and you can see in the howlite where you've got these dips and pits that you'll get these kind of pinky almost magenta tones running through and lastly but by no means leastly just to let you know they're approximately 60 uh, sorry 12 by 16 lastly but by no means leastly I'm adding to this your crazy agate these are your puffy ovals that we have here now these ones every single one is individual every single one is unique when we talk about crazy Jasper you're not necessarily um, sorry crazy agate you're not necessarily expecting the bands and the lines that you would normally get in your agate so let me prove a point with that so if I show you, okay, let me show you this heart. This is, of course, same gemstone. So you've got the lines in here. You see how they're all lines and banding, and that's because of the way this is formed. It settles. With Crazy Agate, actually, you get more of this. You get more of these wisps. It's less lined like this. It's more wisps. You get wisps, you get areas of mottling effect, you get, this one's probably defined it a little bit easier. It's almost more sporadic in its appeal, I suppose, and that's purely due to the um, way that Mother Nature builds these up. That's nothing to do with us. We haven't added anything or taken anything away with this. That's purely due to the way that Mother Nature builds these. Every single one slightly different and unique. You have got um, 230 carats worth on that grey crazy agate and it's 20 by 15 on that today. Now, just bear in mind for me that you have 
Laramar within here. Laramar, by the way, which we have recently put an order in, um, trying to get our hands on more Laramar. We've got our buyers are going out to India in the next week or so. Um, we put in an order to try and get our hands on more Laramar, and uh, let's just say there was a big fat question mark over it, whether or not we were actually going to be or able to get that much. Because, of course, the mining area is tiny. It's really hard. This is down by the sea. Your price today... 17 pounds and 95 pence for you now wait 110 percent wait 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 just for the Laramar just for the Laramar you should be over the moon to be able to get yourself a one locational gemstone for that price could you imagine buying tan tonight for 17.95 well, no, you couldn't. Of course you couldn't. Don't get me wrong, this hasn't had the promotion. And let's face it, that's kind of the main thing about it. This hasn't had the promotion that Tanzania has had, but it's got a smaller mining area. It's completely unique and completely different. And when you do go and buy this in the Dominican Republic, you will be paying per carat up to hundreds of pounds. So just that price for this strand is going to be amazing. The fact of the matter, though, is that you're getting three strands for $17.95. Or are you? <laughs> no, you're not. We are taking it down. This is designer inspiration. Treat yourself. It's £10.95 for you today. This is a gorgeous collection that you can use together. And actually, one of our budding beaders, this is Shara, has worked them together, creating these little kind of flower effects and using the Laramara as a cluster section within the centre of them. Um, also, with some little droplets at the back as well. Um, we are going to be also giving this to the lovely, lovely Fleur. Tell me, Fleur, lovely lady. First off, genuinely, Laramar, how do you feel about being able to work with this today? I think it, it's a real privilege to work with gemstones that are that are so rare and so beautiful. Um, I mean, it, it, all three just go together lovely, like you say, but I think I might split them into different projects because that purple, I love the purple. Yeah. But yeah, the Laramar, I think because it's so precious, it needs to be showcased by itself as yes, well. I agree. So with I you. want to do a piece that's just with th that Laramar just to showcase it off. Maybe with some, um, maybe some copper wire. Hey, to, to yeah. Bring out the blues. Nice idea. Yeah. I like that idea yeah. a lot. Um, so are you going to work with them separately or, or just the Laramar separately? Um, I think I'm going to do a small piece with them, all three of them together, mm -hmm. if I've got time. But I definitely want to do, I would want to do some crochet wire with the Larimar if I have time. Yeah, and if I've remembered that. my crochet hook, Good that, or something like that. Some, something that just encapsulates one individual one, so you can see it all the way around it. Love that idea. Love that idea. We are going to be giving this to Fleur. I'm happy to say we've got plenty of this. And, and at that price point, it's really important that you do get your hands on it as quickly as you possibly can. £10.95 for you today. I'll hand that to you so you can get started. <laughs> Thank you. All Cheers. right. Anyone for another bundle? Oh, I love a good bit of a bundle. If you're new to us, maybe, and you're thinking, hang on, what is a bundle? What is a bundle? Um, a bundle is essentially where we work our power of purchase. Basically, what we do is we get loads of gemstones that either look good together or maybe are a bit different, a bit of a stash topper upper. We whack them all together, and because we've got them all together, it's power of purchase. You're buying a larger quantity, so we drop the price for you. Simple as that. Great way to get your bargains in. This is your Parisian purple. I'm so, so glad that when we were looking at this before, I read it completely wrong, and I've just remembered that I read it completely wrong. I, I said Persian purples, and the thing is, that's a really, really easy mistake to make. I remember when I was first on, when I did one of my, what, what was it? It was on Sapphire. I remember talking about how the Parisians used to think this, that, and the other, but it wasn't, it was the Persians. I just read it wrong. Um, so they've switched it around. You've got in here two strands of your amethyst, and you've got your shell in here as well. Your amethyst, of course, come into you in your drops, over here you've got your irregular plain drops and you've also got your plain rounds those are the two mil uh, 10 carats worth there and i've got those purple shell as well i love that shell i love how they interlink how they undulate 13 by 9 um producer helena where's that gorgeous strand of amethyst i've got coming up in a bit is it coming up later 
I have got a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous strand of amethyst coming up for you. Oh, hang on. In, in, oh, it is. Look. How well would this go? That is stunning, isn't it? This is coming up for you really, really, really soon. Well, later on. Um, how nice would that go? Just those three together are fantastic. Um, you have got lots and lots to work with here. Let's get your price point in because it's already going. Should be. Yeah, that should be priced. I know you're all looking at it on the web, thinking, checking out already, thinking that's your go-to price. No, we are dropping this. This is a stunning little price point. Three strands, 7 dollars Seven pounds ninety-five pence for you today. Fleur is nodding like a Churchill dog. Um, oh, you chuffed yes. with that? Oh <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, chuffed with that? Yeah. That's lovely for the springtime, and they're not so dissimilar to the Pantone colour of the uh, that, that nice burgundy red. Yeah. That would work well with that. So as an they're accent to that. But no, yeah. They that shell's beautiful. Is it shell? The Yes, the yeah, yeah, those drops. Real fun, because it's got that beautiful sheen on it as well. Yeah, gorgeous. And then I quite like to use that with the first bundle, with that red agate. Yes. So I think red and purple look really... Re Regal. Like, yeah, like Gemma's um, lace. Yeah, like her lace piece over there. I don't yeah. know if you can see that. I yeah, think that, I think that's a yeah, gorgeous idea. Yeah, red and idea. purple, I think, is a real nice combination. I definitely, definitely mm. agree with that. £7.95 for you today. Hello, everyone who's coming in for this. We are having a busy day. You know that, we know that. But it's a great day for you to get involved with us then, isn't it? It's a great day for you to join us. Oh, that reminds me, Brother Pete. How are you feeling today, sweet pea? Yeah. Cold still, going? Still in a bit of a... Still in a bit of a... Mm. Oh, sweetie. Poor thing. Poor Brother Pete's feeling a little bit poorly, but he's had a revamp. Come on, Brother Pete. He's had a bit of a revamp. Because, <laughs> look! <laughs> his hair's... <laughs> his hair's gone, he's got rid of his beard. Yeah, because... Fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh. Have you got a crisp new shirt? Helena wants to know. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright, is it, no? Yeah, um, as of about... Christmas. As, no, of November, about, November. as of about November. It's looking very, very dapper. Thanks, Brother yeah. Pete. Okay. Okay. Um, you've got loads of people calling him Pete. Doesn't he look dapper? He looks lovely, doesn't he? I don't know if you saw me or when I was on. Was I on the late show the other day? And I said to Pete, oh, Pete, you know, got a big, a big beard at the moment. He went to me, well, I've had to, haven't I? Because it's Christmas. I was like, are you Santa? <laughs> <laughs> he said it like it was, it, he had to because it was Christmas. Uh, £7.95, it does make sense. He is a jolly little chap, isn't he? Uh, 7 pounds check out those baskets for me. Hang on, what time is it? The clock in here is broken. Can we just check? Yeah, I'm going to get on. Pete's going to get on it. It says that it's ten past. So, just, that is wrong. Let's squeeze another one in then, shall we? Do, 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 do. Oh, I love these. Well, yeah, I, well, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> well, no, I thought, gosh, today's dragging a little bit. I've only been doing this 10 minutes, actually half hour. Um, have a look at this. Oh, I love this strand. Have you got that carnelian strand for, that slide for me, please? Lovely man. Um, I have got, a beautiful strand here for you of carnelian. Can you believe this is carnelian? That is stunning, isn't it? Now, carnelian, when we're talking about carnelian, this is a gemstone which has been renowned for years and years. I'm talking about, when you're talking about this gemstone, you're thinking of these huge historic figures. Possibly the one that will spring to mind is the Romans, but actually it's been used massively before that. I've already got quadruple buyers on this already. Um, when you think about this, you will often think about the Romans, but it's been used for, you know, centuries and centuries before that. This gemstone itself has so much myth, legend and lore behind it, and one of the interesting things that it used to be used as a cameo stone, so a stone to carve into. I'm about to show you some pieces now actually these are some pictures of some genuine real deal <coughs> artifact pieces um, these are original carved 
pieces of your carnelian that have then a lot of them have been set into modern um, settings. So you've got kind of the gold setting, but those are original, real deal pieces of can uh, carnelian that will have been carved as, as, as early as kind of the first and second century AD. Now, the stones were immensely popular um, through the Roman times because it was believed that, um, it, like the Egyptians and like the Greeks, it was believed that carnelian was endowed with hugely magical powers. And what they used to do was they'd carve pictures into them um, for areas that they wished to have improvement within their lives, essentially. So on that top one where you saw, you saw a picture of... Um, you saw a picture, there you go, you see the wheat and the shaft there and you'll see the, the chicken there as well, the cockerel as well. When you're looking at that, it said that those would have been engraved within it because it was the way of, of people essentially asking the gods to help them with their farming and their agriculture for that time and for that year. So every single picture that was carved into this, they literally believed that as they were carving into it, they were essentially connecting with the gods and forces. And every single time that they were to wear this, you would have the power there. Essentially a bit like, you know, St. Christopher is, is kind of associated with travel, etc. This is kind of a really early, early version of that because they believed that this gemstone had such magical powers. And actually, a lot of those beliefs continue now in certain circles. I know this is used quite a bit with things to do with, you know, your chakras and also things to do with kind of your crystal healing, etc. So it's a really interesting gemstone to get involved with. And I just love the fact that you've got it in such a delicate color palette today. These are 12 mil that we have here. They are sensational for the massive, massive amount of carrot weight that you've got here, for the huge size, get your hands on this absolutely mystical gemstone today for just six pounds and 95 pence. Even if this wasn't carnelian, even if this was just your kind of your everyday quartz, don't get me wrong, love quartz, but we all know, you know, quartz is a really quite a quite a, a common gemstone when it comes to gemstones. You know, we can get they're quite abundant, we can get quite a few of them. Even if this was huge pieces of quartz, 12 mil rounds of quartz, you probably wouldn't be paying that price. This is carnelian, this is rarer, this is more sought after in the sense that, again, like I said, you know, certain groups of people believe that this does hold mystical powers. Even nowadays not just from the ancient kind of greeks romans egyptian times you've got these beautiful palettes through here and i've told you a few times before but back in the roman times they used to believe that um when you were to wear this carnelian would have the feminine and it would have the masculine colors i don't think i've ever seen a strand with that amount of a mixture the delicate tones to this are almost pinky actually in appeal aren't they and can you see that glow it's hard for you to see it, but can you see on kind of these ones around here, just because of how it's catching the light, it's almost like it's got a glow from within. It's almost touching upon kind of an opalescence appeal, actually, isn't it? It's got this mysterious internal effect. I've got loads of triple buyers on this. You're loving it at home. Um, do treat yourself to these because genuinely, I just think when it comes to color palette, it is just eye-catching beauty. 6.95, congratulations everyone. That is a real deal. It's designer inspiration time now already. Fleur, talk to us a little bit about this first kit, please. Yeah, we've got two new weaves that we've not done before. Well, one that's a take on a different weave and one that I've been requested a, a lot for doing, mm. which is the sweet pea weave. So, uh, so yeah, lovely kit, beautiful kit. Now, can you just we were talking about the sweet pea weave upstairs earlier and you were saying that to get the right look this is one of the most important ones to have the exact yeah. sized jump rings yeah it is so exact in its jump ring size it will fall out of place if it is the jump ring that holds the next jump ring in place if you like so yeah it has to be done with these jump rings with this size so if you want to do the sweet pea weave this kit is perfect. So say at home, you know, people have got, say, the six mil and they've got the eight mil. Yeah. Would that do the same look? It's, yeah, the six mil is the one that you need. So it has to be the Must four millimeter in, in a diameter. Yeah. yeah. If you make your own jump rings, you can go to a four and a half millimeter. But no, but no, no more. more. No, no more. It's the thickness of the wire also will affect it. So you've got a thicker wire. But with this kit, the four mil, if you've got any of the six mil jump rings at home, then yeah, and it looks beautiful in different colors as well. So you need this kit. Yeah, you, you need, need what it. we have yeah. in this kit yeah. because otherwise the weave itself just won't work essentially. Yeah, and, and all the other components just go so beautifully with it. 
So these are the jump rings that you need, need, need to get your hands on today. Because as Flo's already said, for the sweet pea, which is one that's been requested plenty, plenty and plenty of times, um, you need this size because otherwise it just won't hold itself. It will fall and you won't get the right look. So you need these ones here. This is your beautiful six mil. Now I've got 200, but you're getting two packs. So actually I've got 400 of these in total. So six mil that we have on those ones. I've then got a pack of so cute and delicate. Uh, you've got 200 of these. Again, they're still silver plated, but you've got the smaller size in here. You've got the five mil on these ones. So let me show you those differences in size, if I can. Hang on, let me take one of each. So you've got the five mil and you've got a six mil as well in there. So these are the two different sizes. I've got 200 of the smaller and 400 of the larger. So already, You've got a decent quantity of your jump rings in here. All genuine, real deal silver plated for you today. What I will say is if you do want the silver plated copper, as far as I know, am I right in saying we don't have any other in a bundle today? We don't, do we? Not of the silver plated copper, we don't know. So if you want the silver plated copper, you're running low on it, now you need to get your hands on it. Need to. I've also got these exquisite, exquisite gemstones which you've just fallen in love with. Can I please just lend that cup? My dodgy wire work. <laughs> it's not dodgy wire work at all. Can you believe that this is Flo's first attempt at wire work? A, a, a cuff with this. I've never used 1.5 wire before. Never ever used that one point. Look at the quality of that moonstone. It's so hard for you to see under these lights. But you can see it a little bit, mm. but it's genuinely astonishing quality, it's isn't amazing. it? It's amazing. I could see it through the packet yeah. within the bag, because we get ours in a clear bag. And, yeah. and it, when I got the bag, I could see the blue shiller through the, through the bag. Spinning and, through. Oh, it was just amazing. It's so, so high quality. Um, the strand that we've used predominantly in this cuff is this one here. The quality genuinely is absolutely mm. astonishing. It is just so hard for you to see though, and it is this light source, it really, truly, truly is. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful strand though. You have got here your wheels on this, and it is about 45 carats worth. Genuinely, just trust us on the quality of this, because it's absolutely astonishing. I've also got for you your drops, which again, bouncing with colour to the eye, aren't they? Some of them had almost like tanzanite blues. Mm. They were that blue that was coming through. It's like yeah. lightning. Absolutely. I've also got your ovals as well in here. These are centre drilled ovals. They're 6x5 to 11x7. You've got 60 carats worth here. Now, the thing with moonstone like this is the fact that, we'll be honest with you, it's frustrating for us that you can't see the quality of it. It is due to the lights in here. They're absolutely huge. They're massive. Massive amounts of them. Loads and loads of them. Very, very strong. Very directional. And they do essentially bleach out the colour. Now, the thing with that that's actually a positive is you're not going to be let down by these. You're going to get these home and go, wow, actually, these are so much better in real light, in normal circumstances. Whether it's, you know, your living room, your garden, whatever it might be, you're going to get so much there. So these aren't ever going to let you down. They're never going to let you down because right now you can hardly see even a third of the amount of shiller and that these are going to get you. So these aren't going to let you down at all. Although I feel slightly let down by the fact that my two people in my ear keep singing, never going to let you down. <sighs> Beautiful voices, you lot. I've also got for you the wire. Um, two sets of wire and we're actually going to talk about how to make jump rings from the 1.25, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. You've got in here your 0.4 and you've got your 1.25. So this already we know, you know, it's your 10 meter reel, it's your 995 um, wire in just this one reel. And we are going to show you and talk to you about making your own jump rings. And actually one thing that's really important for me to note today is 
I have got something that I've never really seen without the saw frame, and it's the saw blades. These are coming at you. They're coming with your needle file set as well. But we're going to talk to you about making your own jump rings. And of course, we all know that we need to keep topping up on the essentials. So we're going to do this without the frame, which means lower price, but you're also going to be getting something else a little bit essential coming up for those two. So they're coming up for you in the next hour. So let's reiterate exactly what we're getting. Three strands of stunning moonstone. You're getting 400 jump rings of the six mil and you're getting 200 of the five mil. I've then got 10 meters worth of your 1.25 and 10 meters worth of your 0.4. Your price point today. That's obvious really, isn't it? That it was going to be over kind of your usual sort of £45 mark. That was going to be an obvious one because the quality of this Moonstone is absolutely outstanding. You've got one of our thickest gauges of wire, which already by itself is just £10 worth. And you've got such a huge, huge, huge amount of jump rings. We are going to take this down for you though. We can see already that this is a luxury selection. So I don't want people to perhaps be thinking, oh, hang on, is this going to be my normal price? My normal sort of price point? No, it's going to be slightly slightly more or is it yeah <laughs> it's still under 30 pounds for you today that is a massive amount we've just taken off this that's 29 pounds and 95 pence that's the saving of 20 pounds and 65 pence that you have got off this today what do you think of that it's an amazing price because the, the quality of that moonstone is second to none yes it truly truly is it really is and every single strand has got i should have taken a picture when i was in the living room because mark doesn't really take much notice of when i'm making it and even he said how amazing the moonstone was okay oh i've just realized it's 1.5 mil this wire isn't it yeah, 1 .5, just realized yeah. so yeah we just checked the graphics it is your 1.5 so it is the thickest wire thickest, yeah. that we've got here um, and you can still make jump rings with that yeah you can still make jump rings with it and you can make larger jump rings with it which we're going to show in a piece that we're going to demo but no you you can make really nice jump rings you can't go too small in it because you would you can't the gap's not there to course, weave it of course um i cannot wait to show those pieces and actually i'm going to shimmy on right over now because we need to need to need to show these pieces oh brother pete i would love a water you know and a coffee go on then Thank you, Brother Pete, you lovely man. Do you want a brew? I'd love a cup of coffee. Can Fleur have a, a can, can Fleur have a cup of coffee as He's well? He's going to say no now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, does Pete, do you know how Fleur has it? No. Just no. With milk. Just a little bit Just of milk. Just a little bit of milk. Thank you, Brother mm. Pete, you're a legend. Um, now, you, lovely lady, have done so many stunning, stunning pieces. You need to first off look at this piece. It's astonishing. And this is using the 1.5 isn't it yep 1.5 we've made our own jump rings that is absolutely astonishing even made my own class even mm. made your own class with 1.5 yep. um, and you are going to be able to make these jump rings with some of the products we've got coming up for you later yep. on yep. the sweet pea the one that people have been asking yes. for time and time again yeah, in, the, in earrings. the earrings they are beautiful why do you think it's such a popular weave it's such a sweet little weave and you can use it in sections so you can just do one of the sections and then put a gemstone in between mm. um it there it is a take on the full persian which we are going to be doing in the next demo yeah. so it is a take on that um and it's a very new weave it's only been designed in the last few years really okay. um, but i think it's so popular like i say you can use those little buds in between gemstones so you can make a rosary link chain with with just the little links itself most chain mail is a continuous section of it that not many you can make into little like elements little but you can win this yeah, one, with that one. Like, yeah. half my stock is gone i've got over 25 of these in baskets once you lot check out i'll probably have about five left and that will be pretty much it uh, but do stay on the phone lines because uh, all of you on the phone lines we've taken you into account because we know there is a little bit of a queue we are taking you into account when we're doing the totals for these so if you still want it get on the phone lines you've got over 20 pounds saving on this today and look at the amount that we've created with it helena fell in love with this piece it is and it's so simple to make amazing it? really simple um i used my six step bailing pliers but mm. if you've just got different size marker pens or something that you can find around the house you can make that no problem if you've got time i might just demo just quickly how i made that bit that's beautiful and this is the one 
making your own that's made yeah making your own and that's just the mobius ring that we've done quite a few times mm -hmm. um and what you do is you just i think there's about 18 in there so you just keep putting them through in that same um way until you can't physically get any more in and then just pop it on the chain but i think that's quite a quite a statement piece but very wearable piece yeah really not a wearable. heavy piece or anything like that it's beautiful i just think it's absolutely gorgeous yeah. and of course we've got the cuff in here yeah. as well yeah. but you still have some left i've still got all this left all of those left and this wire and all that wire and, and some all more. this wire i think i've only used about two meters of, of the, the 1.5 so there's eight meters about eight meters left on there you can see there's quite a lot left and uh, about half a strand of moonstone and quite a few of the drops as well it's amazing you've got so much left over and gems, and gems. that price point is astonishing if everyone checks out now, it is a goner. So do check out when you get the opportunity to. Um, lovely lady, we're going to do a few little demos today, aren't yes, we? Yes, yeah, we're going to try and get through as many as we can. Um, and we're going to start with the bracelet. But we're going to start with making your own jump rings because I've made my own jump rings in this bracelet. So there's lots of ways that if you haven't got any tools that you can make jump rings, you just need something cylindrical, that's all you need. For this bracelet, you need them bigger than the four mil, the six mil jump rings that we've got. So to okay. give them um, a bit more of a, a wow factor, yeah. these ones are 16 millimeter. Okay. And I made these using the large jump ring maker. Jump ring maker. So I'm going to show you how to make them with a large jump ring maker, but you can also make them with baling pliers. You can make them with just a piece of wooden dowel. Mm -hmm. um, you can even make them with your ring mandrel. Okay. So you can make them with anything. It Wonderful. doesn't matter. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So if you've got this one, it's the 16 mil, or the largest jump ring maker. Now what I would say is it, the 1.5 mil won't go through the hole, the okay. anchor hole. So what you have to do is you have to just anchor it over the side and hold it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just anchor it over the side. And now to get it going, I used the wire to pull it around. And all you're going to do is, with the jump ring maker, what you would normally do is to twist the actual, the actual thing. Yeah, yeah. Now you can do that. If you've got dexterity problems, you may find this just a little bit harder because it is it's the thickest, thickest wire. wire. Mm. So I found it easier to wrap these around. Now don't worry if it goes a little bit wavy and wobbly and it's not a tight coil. If you're making jump rings, small jump rings with one mil wire, it's very important that the coil stays together and stays flat. But with these it doesn't because if you've got the wire whacker, you know the two plates, yes. you can pop them inside and just, or you can just give them a light tap just to straighten them out. Okay. So I'm just going to carry on, just make a few more, just because I want to show how to cut them if you haven't got the saw and then I'll talk you through how to cut them if you have got the saw. Brilliant. We have got those saw blades coming up for you. I know you don't see them often at all without the frame, but let's face it, we don't always want the frame. We might already have it. We just want to top up and we have got those coming up for you in a bit. So that's my coil. Now, if you're making jump rings, like I said, the smaller jump rings for um, chain mail, then what you should do is let these coils rest for at least 12 hours mm -hmm. to let the memory in the metal just settle okay. because if not you'll get a lot of spring back and they all come out of shape good tip really okay. good tip so I'm just gonna cut this off just so it's easier to handle now there's hardly any wastage with this and what you do waste I used for my clasp so anything that you cut off you can use for your clasp okay okay so what we're gonna do is get the first one cut off because that one's the first one's always gonna be a bit wonky now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut with your cutters as close to that one there as possible. Can yeah. you see that? Yes, and I see. All you do is just cut. And that's one jump ring off. Okay. And then you just keep cutting them one at a time. And because it is quite tough, you don't want to try and cut two or three together. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a few more and then I'm going to show you what we have to do then to treat them. So when you cut them, if you can see that on the, on that, can you see that you've got one that's a little point and yes, one, the one that's, that's, flat. that's flat? So this, if I was to put that together, won't ever go back together as a circle because no. of that point. I see. So what you have to do is just be really careful when you're doing it, is just pop your cutters in just as close to the end as you can, put your hand over the top of it and cut. Okay. Okay. Now you have taken a slither out. Of course. 
but it still goes back then it's a very small amount it's a very very small amount and it then goes back to a near perfect cut now if you're using your saw you will get these completely flat together it is only because i'm using the cutters and it doesn't have to be the flush cutters you use you can use any cutters so your cutters like your toolkit still work the same but you still need to just take that little triangle off the yeah. edge if you really wanted to you could use your needle files to just file mm -hmm. either end just to make them completely what? <laughs> <laughs> to make them completely flat. <laughs> what I would say is... It was more of an awkward flat flat, to be honest, Flo. Like, <laughs> what's she going to do now? <laughs> so bringing these in in a dramatic manner. You do need the flat ones. Yep. The triangle ones. Every, all the files in there are fabulous for... So the square and the flat sides. Yeah, yeah, just so you can... If you haven't got... These are amazing. I've got these and I use them for quite a lot. For metal yeah. sheets, perspex, everything. And if I've got a jump ring that's got a little bit of a burr, we call these burrs you can just hmm. take it off okay <laughs> fab so these are perfect for that kind of finishing professional yeah. touch yes aren't they yeah. um we have got 12 piece needle files for you here um and these are going to be perfect for that kind of finishing touch but we've also got the saw blades now if you're watching and you're thinking hang on saw blades where's my saw frame well actually we're doing the saw blades individually by themselves because we don't do them that often. We always do the saw blades with your handle, with the mm -hmm. thing. And let's face it, once you've got your sort of saw frame, you're not gonna need another one. You will need more of these though, because of course they'll blunt. They will snap yeah, as well. Yeah, that does will, happen, yeah. that does happen, they do snap. But also if you're one of those people who maybe you do perspex and maybe you also do your jump rings and maybe yeah. you also do, you know, loads of different mediums these go for because you've got the six different sizes for the different mediums. You might run out of one really, really quickly because of course things like your perspex, you go through it quite quickly. Yeah. But then a new wire as well yep. might go through them quicker. Okay. Um, so we're just going to be bringing you these by themselves with the 12 needle file set. Now, let me show you exactly what you're getting in the needle file set. These are the different types you're getting. You can use these for so much. Smoothing off edges, smoothing off your metal edges. You can use them with your polymer. You can use them for your findings. You can use them for your metal beads. You can use them on your perspex, as we said earlier, or laminate and that type of work if you do that kind of metal or, or plastic working. These are going to give you that really beautiful yeah. professional finish. Yeah. And I did a really large piece of chain mail not long ago and there was one jump ring that was really tight to get in it and I think I just twisted it as I closed it and it was a tiny little bit sticky and I used one of my needle files and I just filed it down it didn't wreck the chainmail piece at all no. but it meant that that piece was then wearable because it was on the underneath where yeah, it was yeah. scratchy because that's the thing about touches like this yeah. it's that professional yeah. finish isn't yeah. it it is yeah that, that you, if you don't want rough pieces, and we do use it on a wire work, even if you're yeah. a wire weaver, yeah. those little scratchy bits you sometimes get, just yeah. a couple of yeah. swipes. That's all it takes. And that's all it takes. You have got your top up. These are your essentials, not just for chain mail, but for so, so much more. Um, this is actually a mixed medium bundle. Yeah, is, yeah. yeah. If you do have purse bags, perfect both. If you are gonna do chain mail, yeah. perfect both. Yeah. If you are gonna do your copper sheeting, Perfect for both. Aluminium, yep. perfect for both. Yeah. It is a mixed medium um, collection for you here. I think you're going to be astonished by the price point. Don't forget for me here, you've got 24 files, uh, sorry, 24 blades in total, because you don't just get six, you get a few of each. So you get 24, and you're getting 12 of these that are going to last and last and last. Yeah, I've had files for a long time. But I have had files where I've bought cheap files, and they've broke. Right. And they've gone flat and blunt and they, they're no good. I've had these ones for quite a while now and they're just as good. Love I just that. put them in a little bit of water, just clean them off because I've used some with some uh, silver clay as well. So I just cleaned the cleaned the filings off and then um, pop them pop them back in. But they are they're fabulous to have. These are absolutely flying out as quick as the day is short. Long? Long. It's, 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 the day is long. Mm. 
They're going really quickly. <laughs> My producer just said, oh, you can't use things like that if you don't know them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, these are absolutely flying out. Now, honestly, you know the prices of, because you were saying in particular you have bought all the yeah. types of files. Yeah. How much are you going to be paying for your 12-pack of files that perhaps you break after a yeah. few uses? I, I bought two files, and they did have wooden handles on them, but the two of them were £10. For two? For two. That you get 12 in here, then? Yeah. Yeah, and you can make your own polymer clay handles for those if you wanted to, couldn't you? Of course yeah. you can. Yeah. Give your own little jazzy appeal. Yeah. Yeah. Own little jazzy appeal to these. Um, do you think I could take them under £10 for both? Because I'm going to. 7 dollars wow. is your price point on these today. I couldn't even stop <laughs> myself from saying that then. Because your names have gone off my screen already. £7.95. pence. You paid... Amazing more than that just for just two, for two. just yeah. for two of yeah. these you're getting your um, sword blades i was gonna say they're like they're for free then aren't they yeah. really <laughs> yeah yeah even better than that yeah. actually because the thing as well don't Gosh. forget this when you buy the frame and your blades normally your price points around the 10 pound mark which is a bargain but mm. if you've already got the sword blade yeah you, you, don't. you don't really need any more they are going to sell out very, very quickly. We know that already, so please get them whilst you can. £7.95 for you on those today. It's stunning. And just to let you know, we have your coil cutting pliers as well coming up for you um, when you need them. So I just wanted to show there that, that that's the jump rings now completed. Now, what you will find with these jump rings when you make your own out of this wire is you will see tiny, tiny flashes of the copper, which is the core okay, metal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the jump rings that we get here at Jewelry Maker are I think they're coated after they're cut yes so you don't see the copper and at core yeah so but you will see these tiny little flecks but you won't see it when it's worn yes and in you. this weave as well you can just turn it so it's inside the weave so you can't see the join at all got you got you okay. fabulous yeah yeah right we'll get on with the weave okay then. we'll carry on with that okay lovely so this is the the bracelet that we're going to show now yeah. I've had to make my own sort of extra large jump ring so you have to just ignore my ones that I could uh, I could try and uh, okay, pop them into make the centre a little bit more. So these are my these are going to be the large jump rings that we've just made in the demo but because I had to have them bigger than my normal coloured jump rings um, I just wanted to show that these could work. So what we're going to do is take one of your large jump rings that you've just made and you're going to add on two of the small jump rings from the kit and then just close that jump ring okay now you're going to take one of your six mil jump rings and you're going to add it through the two if i pop it down it might be easier for you to see through the two and if anybody when we've done the japanese weaves before this is a take on the japanese lace okay so it's literally just a take on that so we're going to close that jump ring so now we have one large jump ring which is the one that we've just cut the six mil jump ring, which is classed as the purple one here, and then four of the small. So the purple one is attached to the large ring. We then take another large jump ring and we add another two onto the handmade jump ring that you've made. Okay. Take your large jump ring mm -hmm. and go through the two side jump rings, the floating jump rings that aren't attached to anything. Okay. Okay. And then through the two that are on the large handmade jump ring and before you close it you're going to add another two jump rings, small jump rings and close. So we carry on this process till we've got six sets of jump rings, small jump rings. Now if your jump rings that you make are smaller or larger you may have to put more of these sections just to get the weave, okay. the, the, the wiggle going across it. Okay. Um, so we're just going to carry on and I'm going to show you how you can add another, how it will go then into the curve. Okay. So you've always need two on the large jump, on, on your handmade jump ring, so to add your six mil jump ring to. So you go through the two side. I'm really sorry to interrupt, sorry. just to okay. say that we've not got any of this left now. Um, I know that we've got about 50, 60 in baskets. We are trying to get more, but don't, don't quote me on that. We're trying to, management are coming downstairs now. We are gonna put some more info back up for you though. And um, what are we putting up? Um, we'll let Fleur carry on again in a moment. Yeah. I'll just really, really quickly um, bring to you 
which one the wire really quickly I'll bring to you the wire just because we can yeah. see you can make your own jump rings and that is a sellout so I'm sorry you have got 50 meters worth in the gold here and this is your one mil one mil we can still make our own absolutely perfect for your bog standard jump rings absolutely brilliant for those yeah and they fit in the cord cutting players um, you can do from three mil up to up to 16 mil with these mm -hmm. ones absolutely wonderful I, there's lots there you could make a lot of jump rings on that <laughs> yeah it's just wonderful 50 meters worth for one mil wire brand new in the gold your price point today it's just 17 pounds and 95 pence perfect for making your own jump rings etc do get your hands on them whilst you can yeah, and letting you carry on okay mm. so we're just going to carry on so as you can see it's quite simple to see on the pattern how the pattern carries on mm -hmm. but what I'm going to do is going to put this last one on so if we can imagine that it was six on here I'm just going to show you how to add the next large jump ring in oh, yeah. okay so what we're going to do is we're going to attach this jump ring to the handmade jump ring okay I'm going to add two jump rings onto here now to make it go onto this one we're going to take our new jump ring so before we actually we'll close that one just so we we know where we are what we're going to do is we're going to open this large jump ring and we're going to go through oops through the two small jump rings here okay and then add two more jump rings to the new open handmade ring and then I'm just going to flip it around so it's easier to work when it's flipped, flipped around okay and then we're going to just open this one back up and pop two jump rings onto here now you're connecting jump rings so the jump ring that connects the two together mm -hmm. and creates the middle for this for this wiggle always has four jump rings on it Okay. So you can see there it's got like north, south, east, west. And if I can just show you on that one, if, if that, it makes sense as well, just yeah. to show this middle jump ring here has got oh, yeah, sorry, a little bit. So that one there. That one there, yeah, has got the four jump rings so on. So you've got one, two, three, three four. four. Got yeah. So usually, pairs. yeah, usually each jump ring will have four jump rings onto it. Get yeah. But the middle one that connects the two circles to make it then go around the opposite way will have four jump rings onto Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Okay, so yeah. then you just start again then. So you pop this one through the two jump rings that are on the connecting, two through the side, and then before you close it, we're going to add two more jump rings and close. Can you just Move that slightly yeah. upwards. Thank upwards. you. So yeah, no just because the problem. graphics are in the way. Thank you, love. Okay. Yeah. So it's all you're going to do then is just carry on going mm -hmm. like that around and around. This one, if you're going to use your jump ring maker and it's 16 millimeter, the, the large ring, you use six double pairs. Okay. But it's one of those weaves that makes more sense when you're doing it. So if you've got slightly larger jump rings or slightly smaller jump rings, you might say, oh, actually, I only need five pairs. Yes, I see. So it's, you'll see when it wants to start to move onto yeah. the next curve. But it's basically just a Japanese weave that goes around. And it's such a lovely one because you've got your own handmade jump rings within there as well. Within it's a it. real nice project to do Fantastic. with this kit for everybody that got the kit it's a lovely one to do uh, for people who did get the kit um, congratulations and also just need to point out we've managed to get more of those saw blades and I know that probably about 50 or more uh, were missing out on it we've managed to get just under 60 more we've allocated more right now to the bottom of your screen so if you did miss out on the saw blades with those files this is a multimedia bundle it's at the bottom of your screen now so do treat yourself to to it whilst you can now when we're cutting our larger jump rings yes. with the saw blades we're going to need something to hold them in hold place them aren't in we place, yeah. and we are going to bring that product to you right about now yeah. um why is this so imperative for a, you know any jump rings that you're going to make yourself because if you don't have a, you're using a saw, so think of it as a health and safety. You've got a saw blade. You don't want to be trying to hold these with your fingers and sawing, sawing across you near your finger. Of course. It's, uh, it, it is just too dangerous. Um, what the pliers do is it helps to hold the jump ring, uh, the coil, very, very still. Mm -hmm. As you're sawing, if anybody saw, uh, 
you sort a piece of wood in half it's very difficult to get a nice straight cut absolutely um, yes. it's, it's almost like the less work you do the better it cuts it's yes. when you're trying to like when you're trying to slice bread the harder you work at it the worse it becomes of course so these pliers will hold that coil nice and still for you to get that uniform cut all the way along if you cut your jump rings and they cut on a slant Yes. and they're slanted, slanted yeah. it won't go back together. That's when you're going to get that real sharp burr. Yeah. Okay. Um, also as well, when you're cutting your jump rings, make sure that your saw blades are the sharpest that they can be, which is why that pack, every time, if you do cut your own saw blades, every time you see those packs, I'd be getting them because get the them thinnest ones can. that you use, they are going to go blunt Yeah. because they're, they're cutting metal. It's cutting through yeah. metal, of course. And, and obviously the thicker one you're going to be, but these are, yeah, really good. These are your imperative. Essentially, mm -hmm. what we do with these is you will place your jump ring coil in there. So if I just yeah. borrow this off you, yeah. just as an example. So you'll place them in that section. It goes as opens as large as you wish. And then you can see these little jaw sections here. That's in between those areas where you will place your saw blades and saw through. So that means that you get perfectly straight, it's perfectly saw cut, which means they close up easily. There's no need for you to worry about, for example, even when you use your flush cutters, you have one side that's straight as you want it, and one side that's got that burr section on yeah. it, which means it doesn't close up correct. Yes, there is a way you can sort it out, you have yeah. to snip again, but these will do one after yeah. another. It's not cut, turn around, no. snip, yeah. it's slice, 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 yeah. slice, and it can do a whole reel of them. You yeah. can do 10, 11, yeah. 12 of them yeah, at once, really, Yeah, you can do 10, just be careful Depending when you're cutting on them on the amount thickness of one. Wire, yeah. Just be careful that you only use one of the sides yes. to saw through or she'll end up with lots of halves Half of jump rings. <laughs> You've got in this section as well, this is your kind of pivot section yeah. it's to hold it in yeah. place so that you've got your purchase point there as yeah. well. Use it on a different uh, amount of sizes because just like normal pliers you'll hold them to the tension you need mm -hmm. for, from very very small jump rings to even kind of your, your slightly larger ones. Um, they are a professional tool, this professional yeah. jewellery making tool. Yeah. You could do such a massive amount making your own jump rings can of course save money yeah. but also if you get into that point where actually last minute make oh no yeah. I haven't yeah. actually got enough to finish off a weave that's it you can make your own make and your also own. just for your clasps if you don't if you're not into chain mail and you want to make them just for your clasps mm -hmm. perfect for that as well you know if you just want 10 for clasps because I think there's something so lovely about starting with a reel of wire and making whether it's one of Laura's cuffs and bangles that she did yesterday everything's handmade whether it's chain mail you start with a reel of wire and you end up with a piece of jewelry and there's yeah. no other mechanisms used no. you've used you know tools and your own hands to create everything absolutely there is instructions of exactly how to use it on the back of the packet you'll get this in really really easy and we have demos your price point today for your professional coil cutting pliers is just £14.95 for you today. Get your hands on it when you can because if you think, yeah, it is a one-off cost, but if you think if you can make your own jump rings any size you want, any coloured wire you want, um, yeah. it's going to save you money yeah. over time, but also it's going to mean that you can create your own looks your own pieces yeah. with your own colours of wire and I do actually yeah. have some beautiful coloured wire coming up for you. And also too. as well I mean I've got a, a workshop at home so I've got a bench similar to this with a great big vice on there and all these other but sometimes I want to sit in front of the telly with the kids and make yeah. chainmail and I can't bring my vice Course into not. cook so they are absolutely wonderful Perfect. because you can do it from as we call it, doing your telly, your telly makes. Your telly makes, yeah, your telly <laughs> makes. in front of the telly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watching telly and, and making... And make something. And making, yeah, your jump rings. It is wonderful. Do treat yourself to it, say, 14 95 Loads of you already have. It's going to go very, very quickly, so be as quick as you want. OK, I'm okay. back with you, lovely. So this hopefully now makes sense. And you just carry on doing this weave all the way around till you've got your bracelet length. What you can do as well, which looks really lovely, and I didn't have time to do it, is you can do three different sizes of jump rings and make it into a pendant. So have a small jump ring, say 10 mil jump ring, 12 mil jump ring, and a 14 mil jump ring, yeah. and use that to, to wiggle around those three, and that looks just beautiful as a pendant. Beautiful. Or you can go all the way around and just cage a cabochon with it as well. Love that. Okay. Thank you for showing no us that one. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Okay, so next one. Yes. Sweet we're going pea. on to the sweet pea. Yes. Now this is the one that you needed the kit because the jump ring size is so yeah. imperative to get yeah. this look right here. This is your sweet pea. It's been requested loads for you. It, it has been requested a lot, this one, yes, it has. Um, it is, like I say, it's a beautiful weave. 
but it, it is so temperamental on jump ring sizes. Okay. It really is. Okay. And just to prove a point, these jump ring, this is the same weave, and I've not done it wrong, but this is the same weave. It looks so different. It looks so different. Size. So you can't see Sorry. it behind my black. There you yeah. go. So you can see it's all falling out of shape because yeah. it's got nothing there to hold it. So that's how jump ring specific this, this weave, weave is. is. Now, if I was to try and demo this with the four, uh, with those six mil jump rings, you wouldn't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with the large jump rings the actions of adding the rings. Like I said before, it's very similar to full Persian. So if you're used to full Persian, it is quite an easy one for you to do. So what you need to start off with is three jump rings onto one closed jump ring. So you've just got three added there, and then add a piece of wire as a handle. Okay. Now. With this weave, it's really important when you get used to it, even if you get some um, marker pens and just put colours on, even if you've just got the silver jump rings, you, you, just till you learn it, get three different coloured pens and just colour a little bit because it's all to do with numbers this weave. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So we're going to go from the red. We're going to class number, the red as number one, the purple as number two, and the blue as number three. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take our open jump ring and all this weave is, is you need to collect number one and number three. Okay, and then like in a full Persian, you come around and collect number two. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do that again because it is, it's, it's one of those weaves, it's a little bit, it looks difficult. And I think people fail at it because they've got the wrong size jump rings and they get so disheartened because it doesn't look like it looks on the picture. And there is no YouTube videos for this at all anywhere. No. So you collect number one and number three. And then with your finger, collect, push number two up and just go through number two. So it sits horizontal on top of those three. And you can see it all of a sudden it's pushed number two forward. forward. Yeah, okay? I see that. So we're going to close that ring. Now, like I say, this is not going to look anything like, resemble anything like what it's, because straight away it's starting to pop out. pop out of place. But it's purely because, because the size isn't correct. And yeah. if we were to try and show you in the size that you get in the kit, it would be impossible it. because hands would be in the way and everything. Yeah. So it's just the motion we're looking at here. Just, just the actual action of it. So then what you do, again, like the full Persian, is we're going to flip it over and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So this time, we're going to pick up number three. Yeah. And number one. So it's just reverse. Okay. And then down through number two. So in effect, you've got two horizontal rings and three vertical rings. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then close. Now I'm going to try and show you the pattern formation there. Okay. Just to let you know that the needle files with those saw blades, even though we managed to get an extra 60, have now gone. Uh, so we've got almost 200 of them gone in total. So the kit will be back on for you in a little bit. Okay, so if we just look at the where the jump rings are now. Mm -hmm. So this is our one, two, three. Yeah. And these are our two horizontal rings. Okay. Now to start the weave again, we're going to go through the two horizontal rings and add your jump ring to number two. So you're going to add one open jump ring through there with three closed jump rings onto it. Okay. And that's your next section of sweet pea. I see. So you can use this section just as it is. By itself. By itself, or you can carry on. In the earrings, I've used it three times. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little section here that I've done two on. So you can actually see the three sections. If you can see that, so that's one section, two section, mm. three sections. And you next. can see there on there, you can see the three vertical rings, so the three rings that you can just see the profile on, the yeah. top bit, yeah, yeah. and you two horizontal rings where you can see the whole of the ring. The whole of so it, yeah. So one on one side, if you flip the earring over, it's on the other side. Yes, got it. Okay? Yeah, got it. So hopefully that makes us... So if I just show this bit here, so mm -hmm. this is one that's just... I've literally done two sections, and then that's my next section to do. So you see the three jump rings onto one closed jump ring. Got you. And then you can start again. So hopefully that sort of like sorted the mystery of Sweet Pea out for everybody because like I say, it's a beautiful weave, but there's not a lot known about it. It's not around 
at quite a lot of places. Okay. So it is just that weave again. If anybody wants me to do it again at the end, I don't mind going through it again to show people because it's exactly. just that one movement. So if, as long as you pick up number one and number three and then go back round number two, turn it over and do the same on the other side. Brilliant. That's what it is. That's what it is. Fantastic. <laughs> Lovely. Well, we've got a good sort of 15 minutes left. I'm yep. going to bring to you some more jump rings and then we'll give you time to set up for your next yep. section as well. So I'm going to bring you a little bit of a jump ring a bundleio for you here. Um, remind me which one it is, sorry. The square and 925. Oh, wow. We've got a bit of a juxtaposition here, but this is just going to be a great top-up for mm. you. Um, now, you do have the square jump rings coming up in your second DI, yeah. but they're in silver. So if you want the gold, now's your chance. Why do people love the square jump rings so much? It gives such a different look on this, on traditional weaves. Yeah. Such a, uh, such a different look. Yeah. Um, I think they look, some pieces can look really futuristic with chainmail. You can go really out there. It gives a different texture and it's they're quite light as well. They look substantial pieces but they're not heavy. They're yes. really, really nice. And if you do the two tone colours together, so if you got these and you were gonna get the silver ones as well, then can you give me a sneak piece of just one of your pieces? Yeah. You don't have to do pick the one you're doing, it's up to you. But I just want you to see what a different look you can get. This is, by the way, going to be a multi-buy opportunity. We're actually bringing this to you as kind of a... We don't expect anyone to be buying one of these. We know everyone's going to be buying four, five, six of these to be able to create looks like this. Yes. But this is the look it gives you. What size are those ones? Are these they? ones are the 13.2. Yeah, so that's what I've used So it's this. the same size as this, isn't it? So you could use the if you were going to get the kit as well. So it's the same size as these ones. Mm -hmm. So you, we're going to be showing you some weaves with these later on. So if you yeah. want the gold look, maybe you're more of a gold person, get yourself a few packs of these. Yeah, um, how many approximately do we need to do, say, something like this? Or the cross, the, maybe? The maybe cross, this one, this one um, you'll, for these two sections here, you'll, say, use 100. 150 just for those two sections so yeah, you've got two bags of so those. So get yourself a, a you know double buy on yep. this and especially when we've got 925 yes, in the gold definitely. in here. Yeah. I mean you can mix the two together square jump rings and round jump rings square profile jump rings should I say not square jump rings yeah, of course. and round profile jump rings look beautiful together but I would keep the 925 for something, special. For, something, for something like that pendant on the end you know the Mobius yes and just keep adding them onto that and then put that on a chain and a real high end piece of jewellery. Oh, Oh yeah, I love the idea of that. And actually, you know, we were talking about um, kind of the individual ones you can do, like yeah. little chains, yeah. just for earrings. Yeah. Like, yeah, you could just do a barrel weave with those as well. Gorgeous. Something that, yeah, just little yeah. sections. You could even recreate the wiggle yeah. bracelet. With, love with that. It. Not many left. Price point in today for you, both of them, £8.95. It's a stunner. Not got many of those left. Once they are sold out, we will bring the kit back in for you. I have got loads of other goodies coming up for you throughout the show. DVDs, I've got other chain mail pieces as well, so do stay, um, stay with us. I've had a text in. Okay. I love the sweet pea weave. Great. Clever instructions. Love your work, Fleur. And that is from Candice. Thank you, Candice. There is lots of ways to do, like every chainmail weave, there's mm. lots of different ways to do each weave. Yes. I just find for Sweet Pea, this is the easiest one. If you've got your head around full Persian, yeah. this one is a natural progression Next because step. it is the same sort of action of adding jump rings. Wonderful. But thank you. Thanks thank you, Candice. Feel free to text us in, don't forget. Okay, not many of those left whatsoever, just to let you know, please check out. Okay, lovely lady. Um, what are we going to be looking at next, please? I just want to show how I created the um, the pendant section. This section on, here. On her, there, yeah. And I used um, the baling pliers. The, 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 the but three you can, step pliers. Yeah, but you can use any sort of, um, like I said, pens or um, anything that's cylindrical that goes down in, in size. Okay. You do tend to use quite a lot of wire for it. Could I use my ring mandrel? You can use your ring mandrel okay. definitely, yeah. You can use that. But all you're going to do is find the middle point of your wire. And you know, this is 1.5 wire, but it's so malleable. It's so lovely it's to, work to work with. with isn't it? And all you're going to do is you're going to create a circle you're going to just go all the way around and cross the wires at the top. And I've learnt my wire work from watching our amazing guest designers 
that do their wire work. Yeah. So if it goes wrong, it's their fault. Good. <laughs> <edge>. <laughs> and then to create your next circle, I'm just going to go up to the next step or just uh, you know a, a ring size down on your ring yeah. mandrel, and all we're going to do is create another loop, and it's this pendant. I've used this um, as well in a in the bangle. I've used this sort of like techniques of making a, a circle and then carrying on. Carrying it on, yeah. And then the same on the other side. And as long as your what you're using butts up to the last ring yeah. or the last circle, you'll get that uniform look. look. And always make sure that the wire goes on the same side. So, either so it always goes or behind. in front or behind, yeah. Two of those left on screen, about 30 in baskets. Check out. Okay. And so the last one just goes around. And you just have to just keep moving your pliers if you are using your pliers. So that's one side of the three. I'm just going to do the last one on this side. And then it's just a case of manipulating. Ooh, come here. Manipulating the wire. See, I'm. There we go. Manipulating the wire around to then create the look. So you can either keep it straight as it is. But then what I did with it, so this is what I ended up with. And then what I did is I just started to bend and form it yeah. into that. And because you've kept these quite close together, when you start to form it out, they start to split yes. and they come out. And then it, I used my wire whacker, which I, we, have, we haven't seen for a long time. No, hopefully it's um, going back in. Because it is fabulous for jump rings and things like that. If you, they, you just got that little like curve on them, you can just pat give them, them a pat down. Um, I'm not confident enough to use my ha I have got hammers, but I'm not confident enough to hammer. I need to practice more with the thicker Before wires. Before you do it on yeah. your final pieces. And then with your round nose pliers, I just created just the end loops just to hang the um, hang the piece and I think I did it I did it the same way yeah so you can use you can use them either way so you can put these hoops and then using your point four wire I wire wrapped all these joins together because I thought it gave a little bit more of a, a nice texture to it as well okay so I'm just have I got, have I got time? Can I just quickly oh, show yeah, how I've got, got drops eight on as nine well. minutes. Oh. Just to let you know, I've got 22 in baskets of the kit, and I have got four left. So please do check out. That kit is amazing, isn't it? It is. It Genuinely, is. it's astonishing. It is an amazing, amazing. So kit. we're going to show you how to do this section here. Is that right? Yeah, just the little, just These how little to do the little drops. So this is kind of your chainmail esque drops that we've got here. Yeah. We're going to show you to do those next. Okay. So I'm going to try and show it on this, but it's um, obviously with my large jump rings, it's going to be a, look a little bit funny. So what you need to add is you need to add four jump rings to the center circle. All the same size? All the same size, yeah. So you've used the six mil in I've the used the six mil, from yeah. the kit. Yeah, because you've got so many of the six mil, it, it just carried going on and on and on it was amazing okay and I've still got you can see in the bag I've still got lots of I could have still done another two of these pendants so what we're going to do then is you've got four jump rings all you're going to do is split those into two okay and put one jump ring through each pair mm -hmm. two of the kit left and then one jump ring through both of them okay. and that and it looks different in this because these large so obviously so but with the smaller yeah. rings it sat Rest beautifully better. yeah so in effect that is that's the shape that you're going how to easy create. is that so you just do that on that. those those you just move that on the, each one ones. and then with the top drilled drops i popped the wire through twisted it and then made a look I can show that quickly yeah go ahead yeah yeah um, because I always when I first started getting the top drills I was a little bit dubious on how to use them I didn't know, a drop. I know yeah how because I they wouldn't sit right yeah. and then I couldn't get the head pin through and so the 0 0.4 that's in the kit goes through these fine absolutely perfectly don't forget really really high-end moonstone in there I've got two of that kit left and I've got about 19 in baskets so please check out so 
If you pop your wire through your moonstone. Okay. Okay. And then this is the way that I do it, and all designers do it differently, but this is the way that I find works for me. What I do is I pinch to make a triangle. I so see. I just pinch that together yeah. to make the triangle. I then get my flat nose pliers and I hold the end of the wire and use the bead as sort of like your turning point. And then I turn the bead so I don't turn the pliers. Sorry, if I could put that there, right, you can see that. So I turn the bead to create. So in, in fact, you, you're cr twisting your wire together, so you, you're almost creating a 0.8 wire. Oh, yeah. So it's and because you've, create, you've pinched the, together the triangle, it won't twist at that point. So yeah. if you want that triangle larger, make the triangle larger before you start the twist. OK. OK? Yeah, got you. And then what, you've, what you end up with is quite a sturdy piece of wire. That's good. Um, that you can then use just the same as if you were wrapping a head pin. So pop your wire in, bend it over the top of the wire, over the top of the pliers, flip your pliers up and come around, loop. take them out, pop them back in and then use that just roughly. like you would do your head pin. Fab. And then it sits nicely in the centre. And it's still sturdy. And it's still sturdy. Fab. Okay. Wonderful. Fleur, thank, thank you. you. You've shown Thanks. us so, so much. It's wonderful to be able to see such a variety. Thank you so much no for showing problem. us all of no those. Problem. Second designer inspiration is the one that you've had almost 100 likes on yeah. just one of the pictures. Yeah, just one of the what pictures. are we expecting, please? Yeah, we're going to show statement pendants. So we've got two pendants with the full Persian. So again, it's the same sort of family as a sweet pea. Yeah. Um, a full Persian um, cross is what we're going to what we're going to learn. And it takes very few jump rings, so you can create quite a lot, because there's lots of jump rings in there's that kit. There's lots well. of jump <laughs> rings in that kit. That kit is coming up for you. Just to let you know, already sold out of this kit, so sorry if you missed out. Um, we are coming back after the break, and I am going to be price slashing left right and center i also have coming up for you not in that section but later on that most exquisite sumptuous delightful songian sapphire so stay tuned because we'll be back in a little bit When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Tiger's eye is a gemstone that can be masculine or feminine. It comes in like these luscious caramel colours and when you get it in fuchsia that's my favourite when it's bright pink. Love that and the chatoyancy makes it so different, it sort of follows you around the room so it makes for some really interesting pieces. Tiger's Eye is one of the first gemstones that I was ever exposed to. My mum bought me a beautiful Tiger's Eye bracelet um, when I was away at university and I've worn it ever since. It has a lot of personal value to me. Not only that though, the jewellery maker Tiger's Eye which you can get exudes so much chatoyancy and, and more chatoyancy than I've ever seen from any other Tiger's Eye. The carrot weights are brilliant, you can get it in dyed qualities but it's the natural essence of the gemstone which I think people find so attractive about it and that's probably one of the reasons why it's one of our biggest sellers. Download the Jewelry Maker app today. You can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience.
Welcome back everyone to Designer Inspiration. It is so nice to have you on board for us today. We've had loads of lovely messages in for this little lady. It is of course Fla. Hi, right. uh, how are you? I'm alright, yeah. Good. Yeah. Um tell us please how the challenge is progressing. Yeah, we're doing some oh, crochet la with crochet. some little sections of that beautiful Laramar. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Already that is looking so high end. Yeah just going to twist them all together to make a real beautiful and this silver wire is lovely mm. I, like I love 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 and um, we have got flow with us all afternoon feel free to message in we've already had loads of messages in do feel free to text us 60 triple seven don't text with the word jm studio the reason it's important you start your text with that is because our sister channel have the same kind of text number and if you don't type in James Studio it won't come to us so just make sure you do that. Okie pokey, we've been selling out left, right, centre, up, down, every direction you can think of today so got to be quick because this time is going to be much of the same. We've had messages in about this. When is this going to be on? It's going to be on soon enough for you. I've got a whole price last section coming up and then it will be after that. So please do stay tuned for us. Because this is genuinely the highest quality of one of the number one locations, esteemed and prestigious locations for one of the most renowned gemstones in the world. Already you've got the fact it's a big four and then you really do have one of the top locations for this of the big four. So realistically you're getting yourself something very exquisite and something renowned here today. This is going to be coming up for you very, very soon. It is, it's breathtaking. It truly, truly is. That's coming up for you very, very soon. Um, Right, let's get started, shall we, with a little bit of your price slash or clash? Crash. Which one? Or drop? Which one? Which one? Crash. Well, which one? Wait, we've got a few? We've got a few? What are we in the mood for? A price slash, a price crash, a price drop? What's that? Oh, that's quite good. Oh, I like that. That's good. Yeah. What else have we got? Have we got another one? We've got a different one. Go on, what else have we got? What else have we got in the back catalogue? Price slash, I quite like that one. I feel like that's overused though. Is that not overused? Yeah. And it reminds me, that reminds me of that creepy, you know that little girl with the creepy clown? <laughs> yeah. Who's on like after, like, it reminds me of that a little bit and I don't really like that. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, let's do that. We are going to be price crashing left, right and centre for you in this next little section. Let me get started. Now, I'm going to just say, you know what my producer's like, she's a bit of a stickler when it comes to the price crashes. Because um, she won't let me move on until we've got sort of a low enough amount of people who've already checked it out of their baskets. So um, please, please do check out as quickly as you can because otherwise I won't be allowed to move on. And I'm allowed to try and fit in as many as I can in this short section. So the quicker you check out, the better. This is one of your favorite gemstones. Tell me why you love Ruby Zoisite so much, please. Lovely, lovely flow. Ruby Zoe It's the tight. colours. It reminds me of a beautiful cherry blossom tree. I think with the, because you have those beautiful, subtle pinks coming through, and then the, it's like a forest green. Mm -hmm. And you get different tones of green, but yeah, it just reminds me of a cherry blossom tree. You know, the Japanese cherry blossom. I know blossoms. exactly mm. what you mean. It really does. I've never thought of it like that, but now you say it, yes. Yeah. You've got those exact colours in there, haven't you? Um, when we talk about Ruby Zoisite, what are we talking about? Okay, well, essentially, it's, a, a, it's an accumulation, I suppose, of two very, very renowned gemstone families and, and pieces. So, can you see the green sections? That essentially is your zoocyte. Now, zoocyte is a family of gemstones. Possibly the most famous component of that family or member, let's say, of the zoocyte family is tanzanite. So this is your tanzanite family that we have here with the zoocyte. You've then got those flashes of reds, and that is your ruby. 
you've got so many splashes of the reds throughout this strand, a huge amount of ruby. So essentially what we've got here is you've got that huge, huge amount of eozoocyte, one of the number one kind of families, and um, pretty much only gemstone we have on enough, I suppose, from this family is actually obviously this one, but also the tanzanite, that's pretty much it. But then that is paired, married up with that gorgeous ruby. It is your beautiful, beautiful puffy coins that we have here. When you're talking about a stunning pairing, please check out those baskets for me. I promise I'm going to price slash this web bidders. Promise, promise, promise. Swear it's going to be more than a pound. I'm going to take off this. Um, you've got one pound. You've got one pound fifty. You've got one hundred and fifty carats worth. That'd be really cheeky, wouldn't it? If I said I promise it'll be more than a pound to take off, and I took off one pound fifty. Um, it's got hundred and fifty carats worth here, and these are your ten mil coins, and um, that we've got. Um, the price you're seeing on your screens, if you're on the web, I am going to drop it lower than that. You have got a beautiful, beautiful pairing here. We don't often get these coin shapes, but when we do, and it is in this array, look at the amount you're getting on there. Different ruby tones, your zoocyte tones. It's so beautiful, and it is just a beautiful, it's kind of an English rose garden appeal to me, actually, which I think is perfect for this time of year as we're all hoping for and heading towards spring. Your price point today, should be actually should be price i'm going to take off more than a pound i promise you it's not going to be 11.95 though we're going to take it lower than that your price point today for this stunning strand we hardly ever see this gemstone when we get it get it quick because it's only 9.95 for you today whenever you purchase this you've already purchased it around that 13 pound price point not today though we've actually taken it under 10 pounds for you today gorgeous for a little ring a beautiful kind of little solitaire style kind of cocktail ring will be really pretty with these earrings are absolutely perfect for it's a beautiful effect of the undulation that we have here. We hardly ever have your zoocyte in, let alone your ruby zoocyte. We actually only have one other um, um, I don't know that strand like this on the website, but it's not as high a quality as this. You haven't got that beautiful kind of effect running through. What would you do with this gorgeous strand to really show it off? Please check out the baskets just to let you know that I'm not allowed to move on until A, I sell out, or B, what's the lucky number today, please, Helena? for the amount of people eight. Okay, so as soon as I get to eight or less people with it in their baskets, I can move on or it's a sellout. So I'm more than that at the moment. What would you do with these, lovely? I'd love to see it in, in this rosary style that I've done. They're the same sort of shape. Nice idea. Um, just using the jump ring just to separate them again. Yeah. I think gemstones that have got a lot going on deserve to have their own little showcase. So just to, so you individualise each one, because each one of those is so unique and different. Love that idea. Um, but yeah, little rings or just an earring. Just that simple as that. Really lovely. Because it is the same shape as what we've got over there, what, what we're going to be showing you, what we're going to be demoing to you. So maybe you don't want the black gemstone, maybe you actually want a little bit of an English rose garden, yeah. because it's the same shape. Yeah. And, and we'd be able to do this look, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly the same. And the silver would look beautiful wouldn't it? Silver would look beautiful with that as well, yeah. Yes, so it's there. Can you see, you see we use the same just, shape gemstones here? See just there. And they'd be gorgeous, wouldn't they? Um, yes, okay, I'm under, I'm under eight. I'm on six now. Well done, everyone, for checking out. 9.95 bargain. Next up, stunning strand of Jerusy. We are going to price slash this for you. Now, my quantity wise, I'm not as high as I would like to be, but that's absolutely fine because it means we are going to price crash this. This is your stunning Jerusy. Take a look at how wonderful this is. Seriously usable, usable strand. It's complete Jerusy vibe that we have here. When we're talking about Jerusy, we're talking about this kind of effect that we have here. If I just show that to you, shimmery it. Um, it's almost like this crystallization effect. This basically happens from Mother Nature. We haven't, you know, glued this on, stuck this on. This isn't gem art that we've kind of glued into place. What it actually is, is the fact that you get this, um, you get a porous rock, you get your host rock, and as kind of all the elements enter it and the pressure change, the coolness change, etc., etc. and Mother Nature doesn't have time to form these into your usual crystal structure, so they almost, I always think of it as like frozen in time kind of look. And that's why you get that beautiful appeal, you get this twinkle, you get this detail. Loads of these are already going, don't worry, decent enough amount for you all, 120 20 carats worth of your white druzy price point today should be £17.95. Of course it should. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven of these. I've got on my strand, yours might be slightly different. Of course we are going to drop it down though. This is my price crash section. 
price crash. Why do I find that hard to say? I just do. Your price point today though. £12.95 for you on this today. Get it whilst you can because do you remember when we used to do these and we only used to do sort of five, well no, we did three pieces at a time, didn't we? Um, we didn't do many of these at all. So you're just working out a few pounds each and the thing is, you'll know, when we're doing really eye-catching pieces like this, you don't need to use a whole strand, do you? Oh no, just one. One. Literally one. And if, I, if you've got the bundle that I'm working with, that Larimar, just going around those, I've got it here, oh, sorry. Yeah, you've got it, I'm, no, no, keep it, don't worry. Um, but the Larimar, just framing that around to make it look like a, a flower, just with a piece of wire, just wire them on, would be an Love amazing that. ring. Love that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Everyone's just checked out. I've only got one or I've got two, three in baskets now. I can move on. 12.95. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you for keeping up with us today. Um, because if you do keep up, what? Are you joking? Blah, 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 keep up. Thank you for checking out. It means I get to move on quicker and it means I get to bring you the most astonishing gemstones at price slash. This should not be price slashed. 110% should not be. On our sister channel, well, we all got an email sent around recently, well, in September about Tanzanite, you're not allowed to price slash it. Our sister channel have had a heads up that they're gonna get the same email about this gemstone, that it will not be allowed to be price slashed because you can't get your hands on it anymore. You just can't. This is possibly one of the last ever times if the email comes through tomorrow from Steve or whoever saying we can't price last you anymore this will be the last time you see a price clash on this gemstone because it pretty much it's almost impossible for you to get your hands on anymore this gemstone is exquisite essentially it is your savorite garnet um, it is a beautiful, beautiful high-end gemstone. It was discovered in Tanzania um, by a gentleman who essentially um, was told that he wasn't able to mine it. He wasn't able to mine it in that location. His name was um, Campbell R. Bridges. He wasn't allowed to mine it in that location. For one reason or another, he couldn't get the legislation to do so. So what he did was he carried on looking. He carried on trying to find it, carried on trying to discover it. Um, he had a whole team of people with him and they, used, they went over the border essentially to go and collect this and what it meant was they had to sleep in tree houses because it was such a dangerous area there was huge you know um lions sort of uh, um, uh, these huge dangerous animals and they had to actually sleep in tree houses to be able to get their hands on this in that area when they did used to mine it because it was so popular and because of the kind of because it was such a rarity and such a prestige to have it they used to keep this in the area and keep snakes with it they used to keep pythons with it to try and, and kind of stop poachers trying to get this gemstone because it was so much love. This gemstone in that mine that he that was talking about where he used to look after kind of um you know, used to keep the snakes in the pits and he used to also sleep in um kind of your tree houses to try and get this. He that mine is closed. It's closed now completely. It's been closed for around three years and that's because the family has essentially gone through such a turbulent time. Um, what's happened is they've had to close it and they've not been able to um, mine from that location at all because basically there's a huge court case um, going through, not really to do with the gemstone, more to do with the family situation. So we that mine has been closed and we don't know if it will ever, ever, ever open again. That's been closed for about three years. So now we're only getting this from a really, really small area in Tanzania it's a tiny 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 section in Tanzania just over the border such a small area that we're able to get this and when you can get it for a whole day's work at the moment they're pulling out about a handful worth of the rough now this is the next up-and-coming gemstone and I mean that in a big way in the sense that Tanzanite as we all know Tanzanite will have your different minds your different areas Tanzanite One, that is the biggest company getting your hands on Tanzanite right now. Tanzanite One is the biggest company. Tanzanite One are very, very aware that Tanzanite is running out. They're looking for the next big thing. And what have they gotten to? This. They've gone to this gemstone. They have been put in, in um, they've been looking towards and kind of suggesting that they are going to be looking at buying the mine uh, that this comes from or possibly trying to find ones close by to get this gemstone because Tanzanite One Company want this to be the next big thing. And if that happens and if it gets promoted, this you will be paying the same price as you would expect for Tanzanite. You will not be paying this price. 
You won't be paying twenty four ninety five for it. If this, if Tanzanite One take over this mine with the promotion with their big name, you won't be paying that price for it. No chance, no day. One locational, one place that we're getting this that Tanzanite, uh, sorry, Tanzanian uh, Savarite Garnet. Today we are taking it down in price. That's going to be one of the last times probably that you're going to see this reduced unless we find another stock of it, unless we find another availability of it because the mines that we've already been getting this from for years and years and years have closed down. This is the one slightly over the border. Our sister channel have been given a little bit of a nod that they will get an email very, very soon saying that Savarite Garnet, you are not allowed to price drop anymore like we did with the Tanzanite, exactly like that. I've got £18.95 and on these and let me just say you another thing about this it's really important because actually I was talking to Fleur's mentioning it. it's a big birthday very very soon and she was saying I'm thinking of getting tans and I do I get it what do I think my number one is this one my number one for a big one to get to treat yourself to that's gonna go up in price is Savarite Garnet um, it is actually a goner it's completely gone congratulations everybody massive massive congratulations but the reason that's gonna go up in price so much is because tans and one want to get involved with it and also for the fact that the GIA have brought in a grading system for this that is the exact same as tans and that's how you know this is a big deal. Well done, everyone who got that. Where to next? I have got for you now, yay, my opal. Um, this fire opal is absolutely exquisite. The quality, the clarity, the richness, the depth, but also, actually, you have some opalescence in here. Not that you're gonna be able to see it in this lighting source, but just trust me on that. On the clear ones in particular, when we saw it in the box earlier, it was just bursting of all these colors. If I just go to that center section there, Oh, you can see a little bit of it there. Little, little bit of it. You are going to get more to the eye, though. You are going to get... Oh, yeah, see flashes of it there. You are going to get more of this to the eye. Obviously, the lights in here, very much like Labrador Essence, I suppose. It does kind of bleach out the appeal of this fire opal. Double strand you have here of your stunning Mexican fire opal. It is the number one location to go to to get your fire opal. You can get fire opal from lots of, um, you know, from different areas in America, etc. But uh, Mexican fire opal is the number one location to go to. It's a very interesting mining process whereby you'll kind of captivate this from these 50 meter meandering kind of pathways and they're 50 meters high. It's really interesting when you look at it. I'll try and get some photos of it for you actually. It's absolutely exceptional exceptional pieces that we have here the thing I absolutely adore 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 about your Mexican fire opal for me it's kind of an exciting location because where we get this from is actually from areas of volcanic activity so all of these ancient ancient volcanoes literally they just um, they span kind of uh, you know the horizon and you get that gorgeous lava like magma like coloring spanning throughout these but so much richer so much purer so much deeper this is a double strand of your stunning stunning opal you haven't seen this often before in fact it's the first time I've ever brought this to you already graduated out in color for you Chips and nuggets, it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous appeal to these zesty, fiery, some massive colours in here that are going to be really, really important for 2015 because not only have you got your custard tones, which we know is a Pantone tone, you've also got your masala. The masala tone in here, the fashion forward colour highlighted by Pantone for 2015. Your price point today for this fashion forward double strand piece, that's your should be price. This is 130 carats worth. It's a double strand. You've almost got a meter's worth in here. The clarity is exceptional. The saturation, the tone is perfect. Your price point today it's just £9.95 pence for you today. That is not a price point that we would expect from this mass amount and this quality as well. The fire in this is astonishing. You can actually see the brightness, can't you? And you can see, did you get a little bit of the greens and the pinks and the opalescence pin fire there? In particular in the clearer ones, but I have actually got some in those golden tones as well. Okay, this is already absolutely flying out as quick as you like. £9.95 pence for these. Again, there are so many of you with it and you basket it's my producer will not let me move on the reason my producer won't let me move on isn't because she's a massive horrible person <laughs> it's not because she's a nightmare to work with um it's not that at all it's purely because 
um, it, it's, it's kind of our way of making sure that we've got enough of them gone. We're not allowed to do kind of price crash sections because uh, otherwise we'd do them all the time, wouldn't we? We'll be doing it left, right and centre. It's kind of a justification of how we're able to do them so that we can say to management, yeah, we did do a price crash section, but, you know, people were really working with us at home and we did get to that kind of eight and lower per, um, mark of people having it in their basket. So people were doing it, so therefore, can we do it again? It's as simple as that. It's a justification for us. It's as simple as that or else we wouldn't be able to do it because of course you know we, w we wouldn't be able to price slash everything left right and center every single day because we simply would not be here as a challenge uh, as a channel sorry so um, it's our way of kind of justifying it I have got 12 in baskets right now I do have to wait just until I've got eight or left or eight or less of them in baskets Um whilst we're waiting for those people to check out let's just find out from our gorgeous guest designer what she'd do with this exceptional strand I would team it with the carnelian that we had earlier and I would do sections of fire opal and then going through one carnelian bead. Yeah. Um, Mark Smith did an amazing necklace. I think it was about this time last year and he, I think he used that fire opal or, or that kind of, and he colour graded it down and then plaited it all together. Mm. I think he used two strands of it. So if you got two of the double strands, you'd be, be able to recreate that, that look. And, Mark's on Facebook as well, he's um, Orbital Design, so if you, he, he'd be more than happy, I'm sure, to put that picture back up. Yeah, to But it was an out. amazing piece of jewellery. But with it. that carnelian together. I this is the carnelian we had on earlier on. I don't know if we have any of it left. 12 mil these were. We do, this will come in at the bottom of your screen because they do go amazingly yeah. together, don't they? So just like two inches of fire opal in three strands, so three separate strands of, of fire opal yeah and then put all three th strands through the carnelian bead yeah spread them back out again and then put another two inches oh, of fire perfect. opal perfect and you can do that in your color blocks as well as it is there perfect i absolutely adore that i've got 12 of these in baskets still at this moment in time apparently i've only got 20 left for you so please do check out i am not yet allowed to move on and um, thank you so much um evelyn um you've got your hands on it as well and um, please don't forget for me i do have songi and sapphire coming up i know that people have been messaging quite a lot for um for us to have um that coming up it's going to be coming up in the next couple of products time it will be with you very very soon um once we kind of get out of our price crash section then we will have that songy and sapphire for you 9.95 is your price point on this fire opal do check out those baskets congratulations to all of you who've already got it i've got 15 of these left so if you want it getting on the phone well done anonymous you've just multi crash uh, you've just multi bought on that and checked out on the web so thank you very much for that um lots of you coming in for it thank you very much for checking it out all of you lovely people um, i've got nine left in baskets only need one more to check it out 9.95 for you today quite like oh is this the last one on our price crash this is our last one on the price crash, so get it whilst you can. Well done. Uh, Linda in lovely Cumbria. Oh, I used to love living in Cumbria. Well, to be honest, I didn't, if I'm very, very honest. I didn't because I was so young and I couldn't drive and we were in the middle of nowhere. And at that age, you don't appreciate it, do you? But yeah. now... Love, yeah. it's like where I, I love I grew going up. up there now. Yeah. I love it so, so Beautiful. much. Beautiful, around the lakes and everything. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. So much to do. Yeah. Amazing. Whenever I go to see my friends, I just love it. Um, well done, everyone, for checking those out. Ten of those left, just left. That is my last price crash. So see you later, price crash. Bye bye. Bye. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's just take a minute now. Just before we bring in your graphics, I just need to talk to you very briefly about the importance of what I'm about to show you. I apologize for all of you connoisseurs who have watched us for a long time who know how important and esteemed the gemstone I'm about to show you is. But don't forget, we have new people joining us at all occasions, so it's important to depict to them that Yes, this is a sapphire. And sapphire as itself is renowned. It's one of kind of the most beautiful um, kind of um, well-known gemstones, one of the most renowned big four for regality and royalty and its prestige. It's very important gemstone to us, massively important in fact. Um, Sapphire in itself it is a standalone beautiful gemstone that we all know from from childhood, you know, and we all love, uh, you know, uh, way, way, you know, years and years and years. It's kind of the passed down gemstone, isn't it? It's your it's your heirloom piece. We all know and love sapphire. 
with that being said there is a way that you can take sapphire to another level and that is with its location the location of this is one of the pinnacle point locations for you to get your hands on this it is your stunning exquisite please don't miss it songi and sapphire it is phenomenal it is exceptional quality songi and sapphire okay what are we talking about when i say songi and sapphire what am i talking about well I'm talking about the fact that th this is a location, so obviously I'm sure a lot of you will know, but when we say song year, it's a location. Now, the important thing about your location is the fact that this is from Tanzania, and you obviously get a wealth of stunning, stunning gems from Tanzania, and that's due to the geological features, um, and that is known as the Mozambique Belt. So it's essentially a belt that runs through. So. So I've got, if you imagine your, your, if you imagine Tanzania, I'll show you a map of it in a little bit and, and where we get Songhe from, but there is the Mozambique belt and that runs from north to south and it goes all the way through. And it's up to kind of, uh, um, I think it's 300 kilometers in, in certain areas, this Mozambique belt. And basically that belt is where a lot of um, sort of geological events have taken place over, you know, the formation of the earth. So what that means is there been a lot of um, sort of metamorphic events there's been a lot of tectonic pushes um, and what that means is literally changes in pressure changes in temperature changes in kind of the way that the structure of the earth is formed because if you imagine you have your tectonic plates constantly pushing together and it just takes slips um, whereby it will change in its shape it will kind of get underneath each other you will have whole mountain ranges formed due to the shifting of this belt and what that means is you've got changes in pressure you've got changes of composition you've got changes of heat you've got um, you've got folds in there that take place as well and all of this basically means that the Mozambique belt that runs through Tanzania can create these stunning 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 gemstones I mean amazing amazing gemstones I've got a map for you just to highlight kind of these eye-catching uh, positions that we see that Mozambique belt through so if you look um, you can see where the graphics are at the bottom of the screen kind of in the middle of the map right at the bottom you can see Songhia there it's kind of just next to the measurement section that is Songhia that's where we get this gemstone from um, and then if you go all the way up from there um, kind of almost in a straight line just to the side of it just towards the Kenya section that is the location in which we get Tanzanite so both of those two areas are within this rift this um, this belt that we're talking about so you get such a beautiful richness of these different gemstones and because of all these changes constantly you get this kaleidoscope of beautiful gems and this is one of the most standout pieces it's just spectacular in its form I know I've already been showing you this plenty kind of before it is rich it is zesty it is such a beautiful beautiful appeal that we have of this um, this gemstone is a rarity. Already I have, you know, the name Sapphire and we love Sapphire. We absolutely adore Sapphire. But when we're talking about Songhi and Sapphire, we're actually taking it to another level. We can't imagine that this is, um, you know, y y y just to let you know, please check out your baskets on this. I know it's going to be, it's extremely popular. I've already got lots of people getting it, but please do check out. When you've got a richness such as this and you've got that colour tone that we're going to be seeing time and time again this year in fashion world, you are actually dealing with a step above the rest it's almost like you've got your sapphire here you've got regality you've got esteem you've got your summit point but then songi and sapphire for many reasons is kind of the step above that is a prestige point because you've got the clarity that you would hope for in sapphire but let's face it you don't always get you've got that clarity here you've got that richness as well when it comes to the tone but also the saturation through this is so even and beautiful it has got that tangerine pantone color that we're going to see massively this year 
when you're thinking also about those those four C's that we're looking for in this strand, you've also got, of course, the craftsmanship on this, and that time and effort has been piled into this. I need to really, really, from the bottom of my heart, point something out now that's really important to point out. From the bottom of my heart, I personally do not think the price you're about to see is indicative of quality. That is absolutely imperative for me to say at this point, just for kind of my own peace of mind, for the fact that I'm happy to say I've brought to you Sapphire that's kind of a little bit of... Um, you get that I've done sapphire for you that has been completely opaque yeah it's been in drops it might have been slightly higher carat weight but I have done completely opaque strands of, of plain sapphire for you so you know no facets on there whatsoever at a similar price point the price you're about to see is not indicative of quality I promised an amazing price You've got it right there. That is not indicative of quality at all. The fact of the matter is that this, realistically, is a £50 strand. I did promise you, though, that we were going to have an entire section of price crashes. And this one is included in that. I did promise you, I quoted myself there. Look at that. Um, your price point today. No way is that indicative of quality. Well done. Everybody pays the same price on this. What do you think of that flirt genuinely for Songian Sapphire? I've never seen anything like that. No nope. that price. And the amount that you get. Yes. That's a long strand. Yes. That is a long strand. And if you want inspiration, designers like Jan, um, Laura, Sammy work with these intricate little rondelles and they, they prong, uh, they, they, sorry, they channel set them. They use precious metals to, to set them into. You could even set those into your silver clay if you were, if you were a silver clay artist. I would artist. definitely say good idea, yeah, um, good idea. With, with that color as well, you can go down the rose gold, yellow gold. That is a, a real statement strand. And if anybody was lucky enough to get those black diamonds, could you imagine one black diamond in the middle of that? If you're sapphire lucky enough to do so. To, to get those, I think, yeah. I can't remember how many strands Ed had. Was it 20 strands? Something like that. It was quite so low. So those 20 it? people. <laughs> so much. Yeah. If but, you are looking at getting high end, this is the kind of pairing you want to do, isn't it, really? Yeah. You can't get much high end, more no. high end than that. No. And, you really can't. And that colour as well. I mean, it's. Yes. It'll look beautiful um, on a tan skin. It'll look beautiful. I've got pale skin. It'll mm. look beautiful on any skin type. It is just a, it's a colour that'll go with everything as well. You go with mm. green. You use Avarite garnet. Would look beautiful against beautiful it. Beautiful pairing. Your beautiful pearls pairing. would look beautiful with it. Do we have any of that Savarite left? Oh, it was sell out. Oh, sorry. But yeah, you know, there's, there's every, every gemstone. I think. You know, is a, a lovely one with orange and that, yes. that beautiful fire within those as well. Stunning, fiery effect. And it is just ex uh, exceptional quality. Twenty-seven ninety-five. Well done to everyone who's got your hand on it because it, the quality of it is outstanding. And this is going to be one of those strands that I would almost say depicts to you exactly what you're looking for in your big four. This is one of those that's hitting all of those targets time and time again. Congratulations to everyone, because you've just got yourself an heirloom there. Okie pokey. I'm coming on over to you in a moment or four. Okay. Tell me what to expect, please, lovely. Um, a chainmail weave that I've shown before, mm -hmm. but never shown how to make it into the cross before, so making pendants with it. Um, and again, another chainmail weave that I have shown before, but show it, this shows a different kind of pendant that you can make with it. Absolutely. This already has been extremely, extremely popular. This is the one, if you are friends with Fleur on Facebook, this is the one that's had almost 100 likes with the picture, the photograph that we've sent. So hurry up, get on the phone, because even if all those people who had just liked the picture tried to buy this, you wouldn't be able to, because your pictures have more likes than I have quantity. Yeah. <laughs> bit of a pain this is going to be an amazing price point you're not going to believe it I'm going to tell you straight away this will be under 25 pounds so get yourself on the phone straight away let's have a little look exactly what we've got who opened no, this jump no, ring bag no, just who it. opened no, my jump no, ring bag no it's gone everywhere who has done that Eight. 
Look, ah, what a beautiful array. Yes, well, it's nice because I can show you the amount. <laughs> It's also good for table confetti. <laughs> okay, so imagine this is a full bag. Imagine there isn't any. Imagine there isn't any um, fallen out on the floor. Um, you have got in here 100 silver square wire jump rings. So these are your square jump rings. When we refer to square jump rings, we have this question quite a lot. Hang on. They're not square. No, they're not, but they are the square wire. So we've got the wire itself is square, and then we create that into the round. Gives you a totally different look. So you've got 100 of these, and those ones are, sorry, you're 11.5. You've then got the smaller. How? Why are people opening these? It's so rude. Oh, I blame Pete, too, because he's not here, so I can't. <laughs> Um, you have got 7.4 mil on those ones today. You've got 100 of these. And you've also got in here um, 100 of the 13.2. So all your square wire that we have here. You've then got your eye pins too, which are fantastic because don't forget, we don't do them in our findings packs anymore. So you've got those ones. We're going to show you how to use these, incorporate them into your pieces um, in a little bit. You've got plenty of them there, looking at about 100 and they've got the 3 mil eye on them, 40 mil in length. And then you've got three strands of your agate. 220 carats worth of your black agate in the 14 mil coins. You've also got 250 of the Blaine rounds and you've got 340 of the 12 mil as well. Beautiful faceted gems there. Let's reiterate, you've got 300 jump rings, you've got three strands of agate and you've got the eye pinch. Price point today is just... £24.95 is about to flash up on your screen. That's not you should be priced, that's the price we're going to. £24.95 for you today. Get your hands on it whilst you can. I told you, under £25. You have got your monochrome magic. Um, already half my stock's gone on those, so do treat yourself to them whilst you can. I'm so sorry for whoever has to uh, tidy up these jump rings. Maybe you have opened them. <laughs> Come on, let's go on over. Hello, love. You're all right. Oh, yeah, not too shabby. Good now, girl. you have made so many pieces from mm -hmm. this. Uh, not many of these left whatsoever. Um, two left. Do check out your baskets um, whenever you get the opportunity to do so. Um, once that is sold out, do not worry. We will bring something else to you. What's your inspiration behind this, please, lovely? I wanted... I did a, a chain mail cross with yourself yes, you quite did. a long time ago. Mm, a I had ago. lots and lots of people saying, um, can, I, can we see how to do it? And every kit that I've had since, I've been inspired by something else. Yes. With this kit, as soon as I saw it with those beautiful coins, mm. I wanted to do a rosary style chain and I wanted to make the cross. I made the cross last time out of normal round jump rings, so I wanted to see how it looked with the square. Mm -hmm. and just so you can see the difference between the square and the round when it's made up, on the necklace, uh, on the bracelet here, yeah, this one. they those centre sections, the Byzantine sections, that we've got in the centre here, are the same as those Byzantine. So you can see the difference with the two. The different look. The it different gives you. look it gives you. If uh, so that's that's yeah. the, with the normal everyday jump rings, Fab. and with the with the square jump rings, it does go completely different. Totally okay. different look. If you away. do want your square jump rings, I have got some for you now because I've got two of these left and I've got about 13 baskets, so that is essentially a sellout. I have got some more square jump rings for you now. I've got the same sizes in three different colours, so you can do a multicoloured effect yep. with this. You yep. mix metal look. Yeah. Oh, I'd be amazing. I've never seen these ones. The, those ones. Those, those ones. ones. Oh, they deep. <gasps> they're gorgeous, aren't yeah. they? These are your bronze colours. That looked like one of those Russian wedding bands, wouldn't it? But a different take on it with the three different colours. Different take with a different mm. feel. I love that idea. And that is a sellout. You have got be there or be square. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a laugh for a second, dear. Um, so you've got 100 of these in each colour. You've got 100 of Branas. And these are your 7.4. You've got 100 of the golden colour, same size. And you You've got 100 of the silver, again, 7.4 of these ones. They are your silver square cut anodized aluminium. Um, it's going to give you a beautiful mixed metal look, yeah, isn't it? it will. And these little ones are absolutely wonderful. If you 
wanted to do the design on the first designer inspiration with the wiggle bracelet, yeah. you could use these square jump rings instead of the small jump rings as well, just to connect. So you've got the two different types of jump rings in there as well. Okay. So both this little bundle here will go with both kits beautifully. Fab. Um, price point on this today is just £7.95. Get it whilst you can. It will be a sellout. Once it is a sellout, we'll bring something else for you. Oh, hi team. Hi team. We're all back at the moment before <laughs> Ben goes off somewhere. Hi team. Hi team. <laughs> um, okay, lovely lady. Let's get started, shall right. we? Right. We're going to learn how to do the full Persian. And the full Persian is what the cross is made out of and also the neck piece of the next pendant. Okay. So it can be used as a, as a chain on its own or it can be used as structural pieces as okay, well. Okay, fabulous. And again, like we said with the sweet pea, depending on the the size of the jump ring depends on if you, which, which one you're going to go for. So the middle sized jump rings have made the cross and the largest jump rings have made the chain. Got ya. Okay. And if you do want to make your own jump rings, you absolutely can do. I'm so sorry that that's another sellout. Um, but if you want to make your own jump rings in the different sizes you need, you can do with this beautiful pink wire. We had the saw blades on before, we had the coilers as well, the pliers. 50 metres worth here in your fuchsia, it's your 0.8 and of course we can make our jump yeah, rings with a 0.8. Yeah. yeah, you just have to be a little bit careful about the size, you can go to a 16 millimetre because no, no, it's too smaller, wobbly. Yeah. Smaller. Small, beautiful jump rings. Bright, beautiful colours, get to add depth to your pieces. The price point today, 50 metres, it's just 40.95. So if you want a pop of colour, add it wow. now. It's amazing. Back price. with you, love. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add rings to this weave, and then I'm going to show you how to start it, and it will become yes. apparent. When you're doing chain mail, if you've taken the time to learn a weave and you've started it off, if you keep a couple of inches of that weave, it's so easy just to weave off of in another colour. So okay. you keep it as like a, a library of weaves. Got you. So Clever. It, because the first inch of chain mail is the most difficult because it's unstable yes. and it wobbles around everywhere and it's really difficult to hold. So yeah, if, I, if these were in a normal size, I would keep sort of that section and then just carry on weaving off of that. So if you wanted another full Persian necklace, you just go to your piece and start. Start. Start weaving. From there. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to do this in two colours and there's a little rule for full Persian. It's a colour, you never add the same colour to the same colour jump ring. Okay. You always add a different colour to a, a diff different, to different, different jump ring. Different colour jump yeah. ring, yeah. Okay, so in this case we're going to add two green jump rings to these pink jump rings. So we're going to add our two jump rings and like I say I'm going to just show you how to add the rings because it's the action of adding the rings like the sweet pea that people get confused with. Okay. So there's our two rings and again we're going to use pro uh, so like portrait and landscape so okay. we're going to now there are portrait rings we're now going to add our landscape rings so hold let those two go down we're going to take a pink jump ring and you see these two here that are sticking up yes we're going to go through those two jump rings keeping the jump ring flat and we're going to go and hook through the two green jump rings that we've just added. Okay. Okay. And close. Now with full Persian, what you do on the top, you have to do on the bottom. So we then flip our work over. And if you forget, you can see when it hangs, you can see that the V is not completed. It's not finished. Okay. So you can see that you've got to add one to this side. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So again, we hold the jump rings. And when they're in smaller size, they are easy to hold. These are quite difficult to hold course, when yeah. you're trying to show, show as well. Yeah. So we go with our horizontal jump ring. So yeah. we're going to go the landscape jump ring through the two portrait and down through the portrait ones that we added and close. Simple as that. And it is as simple as that. Again, like we said with Chainmail, it is the beginning of it that, that people get a little bit disheartened with I suppose that they, they think oh I can't do it and yeah. they can be quite fiddly if they're little rings to get in a, a gap and you just think it's not going to go. So that's how you add the rings. So now I'm going to show you how to start the weave. Okay. okay. So I'm going to pop that down there. Yeah. So what we need is we need four jump rings. I'm just going to close these two. All the same size? All the same size, yeah. This chainmail weave works in jump rings that are bigger than a five millimetre in a diameter. Mm -hmm. So if you got the jump rings off of the website, mm -hmm. 
the six mil ones from the other kit won't work. It will go too <laughs> stiff. Okay. It won't have any movement to it, but it will work in a cross. Got you. So again, it's a little bit trial and error as well. But general, as general rule of thumb is five millimeter in a diameter is the big, is the smallest, smallest that you can go, go if you to. want it to move, okay. if you want it to bend. Yeah, got you. Okay. So we're just going to add a two in two chain. So that means we're going to add two jump rings to two jump rings, like so. And then we need to add a piece of wire, just a scrap piece of wire to either end. Mm -hmm. And Alison's just been on, I heard her talking about her bit boxes. So if you've got bits of wire hanging around, they're perfect for handles in chain mail. So that's one side. And then the other side. Okay, okay, so you've got those in place. Yeah, so I'll just move my hands out of the way in a second. And now what we're going to do is if you hold, hold them like that, we're going to flip the green jump rings handle over on top of the pink jump ring handle so it meets my left hand Brilliant. which is holding the pink so all we're going to do is flip that over okay so they hang how they're meant to so now, they don't hang they? now they're, how they're meant to yeah and then the first thing we have to do is add our portrait jump rings because these are the two jump rings that we're now going to weave through so the first thing we add is our two portrait jump rings okay okay so we're just going to add those one and two and sorry my hands will get out of the way in a second mm -hmm. so now you can see the formation where you're going to go so these are your v jump rings that were the same v on the other when we were adding the rings so we're going to take our horizontal pink ring we're going to pick up those two V's and we're going to go down and add our portrait rings. Okay? Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, I see. And close. And like I say, to start with, it'll look a bit of a mess. It won't hold its form because it's not got enough rings in place yet to, yes. to make it into to formation it. yet. Mm -hmm. So just persevere with those first few rows of, of going, which I think is why box weave and Byzantine weave is such, it's where people start, it's because it holds its form straight away. Okay. So I've gone through the two portrait, down through the portrait rings that we've added. Mm -hmm. So all four green jump rings are added to this pink jump ring, which is the landscape ring, and close. So we now have our first V formation there. I can see. Okay, yeah, you can got see it. that? Yeah. So now to add the next set of um, landscape rings, we've got to add our portrait rings. Yes. So, or our rings that are vertical, mm -hmm. however you want to, to think of them. So we just go through. So you're going through the pink ones again? Through the pink ones. And remember, if you're doing it in two colours, which it does look beautiful in two colours, a colour never goes to the same colour. No. So green never adds to green, pink never adds to pink. No. Okay. It's quite a good way to get yourself started. Yeah, then, it, it is. Yeah, especially if you're getting these fabulous deals on the coloured wires as yeah. well to make your own. Yeah. So now we've got our two rings that when I let go of them, they're going to be loose. Yeah. Take our pink rings, which are going to be our horizontal rings, our landscapes, and we're going to go through the two portrait rings mm -hmm. and down through. Now, it looks really easy with these large rings. It will be a little bit more not fiddly it's just a little bit more difficult when you first start to get it into the normal size jump rings just because um of the size the size of the jump rings so these large jump rings are easy to see these two portrait ones sticking right. out yeah. so it is a little bit more but once like i say once you've persevered with those first sort of like six or seven jump rings it's, it's fine so much easier. it's fine and then so just don't get disheartened don't get disheartened and again we know that we've got to do the other side because we've got just one side. side of the V. Ignore these here, they've just pulled together because I'm holding them as a wire. Okay. Once I take those wires off, they'll be That's they'll sit correctly. correctly. And again, now while I've got these jump rings here, yeah. I did a a demo a bit ago about um, three quarter Persian, which goes around the cabochons, okay. which all the cabochons that we've been having lately is perfect. And all you do for three quarter Persian is you just put one ring on so you don't flip your work over and put another ring on and it creates like a channel to go around a cabochon so the three-quarter Persian again is is quite a simple way to go Love to that. go on so that's your full Persian 
So that's how we've done this section over here. And we are going to be showing you how to make that into the cross in a moment. I am very quickly going to bring you on a 925 collection of jump rings though. And that's why I've actually brought this back. Yep. Because this is going to be perfect yes, design yeah, yeah. wise for what we have got just down that section there. This is going to be perfect, isn't it, for our yeah. 95. Yeah. And I made Ed a set of cufflinks with this as well. So if you use that as your cufflink base mm. and then um, pop a gemstone on a head pin to, to add, you know, to put your wrap loop on to add your the end bit. To add the end section. Yeah. So is it these ones in the pot it is, isn't it? We've got the gorgeous, aren't they? We've got 50 of these. Let Sorry. me just lend a set of these no for the moment. Well, now, seven mil. Yep. These are fantastic for different weaves because because they are the seven mil. You can actually get quite a few things yeah. in, them, aren't, aren't, yeah. aren't you? And the, so these will make a five mil inner diameter, which is perfect for the full Persian. Perfect for your full Persian. Yeah. So this design that we've just learned now, you'll be able to recreate with these. Obviously, yeah. it's going to be a multi buy. Yeah. Realistically, if yeah. you want to be able to create larger pieces, but you could just do an inch section of full Persian with a drop. Yeah. So it could be a pendant. Just it a could pendant just be individual. one single drop of it. Obviously, we do have to pay a you know, close amount of attention to when we are working with your 925, when we are looking to the genuine gold placing, yeah. when we're selling these on, mm -hmm. what kind of what are we going to take into account? What kind of extra price are we going to attach to this? Right. I, I always... Um, there's different ways of, of pricing your work, but for me, sterling silver bracelets are plus 50 pounds depending on the weave and depending on how many hours it takes to weave it now some weaves i was talking to you before about dragon scale you can do two hours worth of work on dragon, dragon scale and only have three inches of work of course so your sell point of that because you get man hours it's taken to make it is more yeah. whereas something like the full persian which actually you can get a bracelet length done in in quite a reasonable time it's um then you have to look at your price of your materials as well. And some people treble their price of materials, some people give themselves an hourly rate. Yeah. It, it just depends on how you want to do it do and it where yourself. you're selling it as well. I just think these are beautiful. So many of these are already going. Names have gone off my screen. Congratulations to everyone who is multi-buying. I understand why you are, probably because we don't see these very often, probably because you know that these are going to be something that people are looking for. High-end chainmail is huge. And also probably because a lot of you can see the price. So let's everyone see the price. Today for 50, it's just £9.95 for you today. That's Astonishing. A, yeah. Are you joking? I've just been told we have to honour the last price. Right. So we are actually going down in price. Your price point today is unnecessary, but ho hum, let's not complain. We love it. We have to honour the last price. Wow. Um, Seven ninety-five. What do you think of that? If you got three packets of these. Yeah. I don't know what three seven ninety fives are, but it's like eight, so 16, Let's 20, say about yeah, 20, 20, 20, 21 pounds. pounds. And you made a simple Byzantine bracelet or a box weave bracelet. Yeah. I would sell that personally for about sixty to seventy pound because it's nine carat gold. Ninety five, and it's and it's yeah. genuine gold. real gold plating. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Instant money maker. These are flying out. Obviously, you're getting 50 of them in total for an absolutely mind-boggling price. No idea why that's on the screen, but we love it. Seven pounds and ninety-five for you today. Yeah, that's an amazing price. Amazing. It really is just amazing. Get them okay. whilst you can. Right. So the cross. When you're making the cross, you need to use the sec the middle size jump rings. I think they're 11 point something, the middle size jump rings. That way it becomes a more tighter weave, so it holds its form. So if you wanted to do formations, a lot of people make like sculptures of dragons with full Persian because it will form into where you want it to go. Mm -hmm. Now, it's exactly the same weave, nothing changes. We're going to start with a Mobius ring. Now, I'm just going to really quickly just do that. And that is what that is, yeah. So this is your Mobius ring that we're going to be looking at. This is what we were saying would be great for that 95, yeah. but this is the effect we're looking yeah. for. Okay. So we start with a Mobius ring because what effect, what initially we have to do is pack out the middle ring to make the cross stable. If you don't make that centre bit quite tight, okay. it will all just droop down droop it, won't, it, it won't hold its form okay so to make your mobius ring 
what we're going to do is take one closed jump ring and we're just going to add down through an open jump ring so it goes into like two C's and then close and you're going to slide the new jump ring over the top of the old jump ring and then exactly the same down through and close so that is your center point and that, that pendant that you've just shown, all I did was I just kept adding rings more like and that. More and, more. and that's yeah. all it is. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring over this section here. What you need to do now, I don't know if you should be able to see this quite well, you need to add four sections of full Persian okay. to make the cross. Right. Now, I did it one at a time. I didn't put all four rings on and then uh, try to work it out. I did one section at a time. So I did one small section and what I did is I added two rings to the Mobius ring then added another two rings here okay. and if I just hold this up now if that's okay mm -hmm. what I'll show you what, and then open these two jump rings yes got okay you. and then add your portrait rings here and then you weave like we've just done okay. with the large jump rings got you. so for the two arms of the cross I used just two sections of so I just did the, the adding of two lots of jump rings. That's okay. all it was. And then for the top, I added just one. And then for the bottom, I added four. So if I just bring the cross, of that, sorry, Ben was just going to. Ben was on it. He was on it. It's all right. We'll shimmy. <laughs> so this section here, I added four lots of full Persian. Yeah. These two here, I've just added two lots of full Persian. And the top section, I've just added one lot of full Persian. Okay. Okay. Now that in its that is the cross formed, but it won't hold itself like that. No. So what I had to do is, and you can't see them, is here is two. Sorry, Ben, I'll just move that right out of the way. Can right. you just see there on between the, the arms and the bottom section, there is two small jump rings. The two small, the smallest jump rings out of the kit. I've just added two jump rings there and there. And all they're going to do is they're going to hold these arms out of the way. I see. Yeah? Yeah. So there and there are the two extra jump rings, and they just link through the Mobius ring, and all that's doing is holding the arms out. If you don't want to add those in, you can add a piece of wire that goes all the way through, but because I didn't have wire in the kit, I didn't that's want to you, do it. Yes, got so you. that's how I got around that. Now, Good the tip. smaller the jump rings, if you make your own jump rings, you can make them like that. And it is literally like, 0.2 of a mil that's that they're too big okay and that's why you just have to add those two rings to make it a little bit more formed and that is basically how you do the cross and it's used about 40 jump rings wow so you get 200 of that's that size jump rings in, yeah, that in kit. the kit so if all you wanted to do was crosses you could have you could do quite a, a few, few quite a few crosses with that and then you could even add it onto like a just a piece of ch a piece of cord Yes. A piece of leather, something like that. I mean, I've gone all out and made a rosary style chain because we had those fabulous eye, eye pins, pins, which, I mean, they, they were just crying out to be then made into, into this sort of section. And because the gemstones emulate the square wire jump rings as well, because of the size, of the size and I the just shape. thought it looked really nice it does, together. It looks fantastic. So all of these are just eye pins onto a link, just onto a gemstone, onto a link, onto yeah, a gemstone. Onto a link. Simple as that. So Don't forget you've got all those eye, eye pins in there and that is how you make that chain section because we've used a lot of those um, kind of eye pins, I don't know if you can see them, all the eye pins that you get in the kit are used, vast majority in this section here, just holding those into place, it's fab. So that's, that's it and I also use the eye pins on the memory wire bangle. Yes, to keep these yeah. together. Um, just to say, how, can I check my quantity on this please, producer Helena? Started off with a, just over 150. If everyone checked out the baskets, we we will uh, we will have about 12 left. Um, so we've used them on this as well, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, just on some memory wire. Yeah, and I still had a lot of eye pins left over. So yeah, there was this. You could make another. If you bought some more gemstones, you could make another one of those bangles. Another about another five actually, with the amount I had. I just think it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, and it's really weighty. You can really feels 
substantial. Yes. I really love it. It really does. Beautifully yeah. comfortable yes. as well, though. Yeah. Really comfortable. Okay, next thing next. Where are we We're going gonna to? We're going to do the next pendant, the next one along. This one just here. That's it. Okay. So we're going to this section here that we've got. Yes. And this was a bit of a happy accident. Oh, good. Well, how, I, how I made this one. And it's basically the Celtic square, which I think I've done again with you, the same show when we did the cross, where I put the gemstones in the, tri in the, in the square and added the gemstones in. So it didn't work. And as I picked it up, it fell into this formation. So I'm quite happy, happy with it. Happy accident. Yeah. Love that. Love the happy accident. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is we need to make these Byzantine triangles. Okay. Okay. So we'll just lift that up there. So we're going to learn to make these, and these are great um, little things to have in your stash if you just sit and make like 20 or 30 of these because they're like jigsaw pieces. You can make them into lots of different shapes. So okay. the way that we start out is we put six jump rings onto a um, one centre jump ring and add six jump rings onto there. Onto that. Okay. okay. Yeah, got you. And then we're going to take the two jump rings, and it's just the Byzantine knot, so I apologise if uh, you already know how to do this. No, it's even then it's it. good to refresh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it, and it's such a versatile, um, versatile uh, piece of chain mail. So we're going to add two jump rings onto the jump rings that are in this centre jump ring. So we've got two and two onto the centre jump ring. Okay. And all we're going to do is hold the purple jump rings, let the red jump rings slip either side, yes. open them out, and then collect the two red jump rings with another jump ring. Okay. Sorry, just get my. So I'm pull it up into a knot. Okay. There. And then we're going to add another jump ring because it's a two in two. Um, weave. So it's always two jump rings onto two jump rings. So we're going to do that onto the other two sections as well. So we take the next two purple jump rings, we add our two jump rings there, one and two. Okay. Hold this first set of jump rings, let the second set of jump rings slip down, open them out and then just collect those two red jump rings. And if you get stuck as to which jump rings you need to collect up, it's the two that aren't attached to anything. Okay, and you pull that up and close. And I won't um, do the third one because no, you've got the idea now of how to do this. So all you would do then is, that's one set. Let me get my, those there. And then you do the same on the bottom one as well. So you've got that triple. The triple effect. Yeah, so you can see there. So if I was to These do the ones. same on the bottom there, you've got. That's it. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. So what effect? What effectively you'll get is the little triangle. The little triangle. Got which you. Which is here. Et voila. And obviously that doesn't hold its shape because the jump rings are larger. When they're in these lovely, and these are the small square jump rings, square profile jump rings. So you need four of those. Just to let you know, once everybody checked their baskets out, I would have none of this left. Not this, which I initially <laughs> pointed at. I'm going past and down. Um, I don't have any of this left once you all check out. So it's imperative you do so because my producer's just mentioned that as I've just said that, she's seen people jump on the phone. So people are trying to get these. $7.95. It was a price drop that should never have happened, but it did. So get it whilst you can because I've got all of it now. I've got the jump rings. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. So get them whilst you can. $7.95 check out those baskets can't tell you how important that is okay right i'm going to make this in the actual jump rings themselves that you get in the kit cool. just i know it's a bit of a Ooh, bit exciting you know because i never usually use the jump rings do mm. i so what we need is we need four of those little triangles got you and we're going to take one of the largest jump rings and we're going to add one of the double end parts of one triangle yeah and then we're going to add another one so we've got two effectively linked together linked on there okay and then we're going to close and now the way that I close my jump rings is I go past you hear the little click past and back past and then back and then always check from the top as well 
Okay, so that's one section. Okay. And we're going to get another jump ring. Now we're going to all we're going to do is we're going to link all four of these together into a row. Okay. okay. So we just add, and because they're triangles, it doesn't matter which side you add. Of course. Because it's always going to be, it'll always end up the same. Okay. And then close. Yup. So now we've got this. And then we just need to add the last one on. So we're going to go through and then add the last pair and then close that jump ring. So we've now got all four of those triangles oh, yeah. connected. And now what we need to do is connect these two triangles together. I okay. see. Okay. So we're going to connect here and here. Ooh. Ooh. It's alive! A cheeky jump <laughs> ring! Right, let me just sort it out now. Come here. That's it. So we just connect the two end corners. So effectively you've made a circle. Now if you were to do this in your normal jump rings, yes. of, the four, uh, of the six mil jump rings, yeah. and did this, that is your Celtic square. Ah. So we're going to add our centre jump ring into the middle, like into we would the middle to connect those to ones connect together. all four together. So you're taking the pairs there, aren't you, yeah. each time? So each time it's the end pair. So you're going to connect all four of the end pairs of, of the, the end triangles. Pairs of the triangles. That's it. One's just jumped off. Look. Come here, you. There. 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 And there. And that centre circle has to be big enough to hold them all on together. Okay. So now, if you were going to do your Celtic square, that is your Celtic square, and you would <coughs> add gemstones into each of those four little spaces. Yes. But it didn't work. Right. So as I picked it up in a bit of a huff, Nightmare. and I went, oh, fed up, it went into... Clever! <laughs> and it was completely by mistake and it just went into that form. And it just goes into that elongated yeah. diamond. Yeah, so I just thought, that'll do. Yeah, I love that. I love that. That'll do. <laughs> so then what I did is, um, just to make it a little bit more substantial, I added extra rings onto these last two here. Okay, so Just to bulk it out. So, sorry, you missed that. Just oh, these sorry, two sorry. there. No, it's all right, yeah. those two there. So those <laughs> two there, yeah, just add another ring on top. And when you add two rings on top in chain mail, it's called kinged. Kinged. So you king. <laughs> so you just okay. king those two end jump rings. So I'll just pop one in just to show you. Okay. It's very very simple. There's nothing. Um, I only have one other pack of jump rings I think left for you for the entire day today. So get these ones that are on screen because those are the last gold 925 we have for you today. So you just king those last two. King those two. In the two there, and it'll just hold the form a little bit better. Tick. And then all you need to do, I mean, you can king the top and the bottom as well if you want, but it made it a little bit too substantial for me. I wanted it to move as Movement. well with you. And then all I did was added that onto, let me just pick it up again if that's all right. Just added it onto a chain, and I just popped one of, I think I just used one of the, the beautiful faceted rounds on the bottom. Got you. And it's, it was a happy accident, and I absolutely love it. And I made one for myself as well. Out of, out of round, um, round, round jump rings. and you could do that with the jump rings that you've just done, or about to do. <laughs> yes. What about these? Five? Yeah, you could use those as the middle, as the large rings, and ah, the large gold. Rings in the center. Yeah, and the gold as the as the um, triangles. Love that idea. Okay, lovely ladies and gents, this is your last opportunity to get jump rings today. <laughs> what do you think? I've just been told about these. There's not many of them. Well, yeah, that's one. There's not that many. Ridiculously low price. Yes, that is exactly mm. what I've just been told. We've got enough for whoever wants them, probably. Don't <laughs> don't quote me on that. Um, but we have to do a price match from what has been seen previously. Why? Sorry, I'm just having a chat. So when were they last seen? Right, so yeah. We have to price match what they've last been seen at. Um, this is an astonishing price point for an amazing collection. Let's just let's just talk you through exactly what we've got here, shall we? This is your rose gold, genuine, real deal, one of the most popular and expensive colours of precious metal in the world, rose gold. That is enveloping one of your most prestigious, high-end, expensive metals of 925 silver. 
as well. So you're getting a double whammy. You're getting nine carat and you're getting your tw uh, your um, 925 sterling silver as well. So they're paired up together. You've not just got a little amount of this, you've got 3.8 grams. That essentially is a higher um, gram weight of precious metal than you get in an average engagement ring. So a massive amount of precious metal here. Massive amount. You're then getting 20 pieces of them in total, and they're the 9 mil size. So great for loads of different weaves, yeah, actually. Yeah, lots and lots of different weaves. Beautiful for your Japanese weaves, for your large rings and your Japanese weaves, because these come out roughly at a 7 mil in a diameter. So if you're looking at weaves um, and you see 7 mil in a diameter, that these are the ones that you need. These are the ones to go yeah. for. Um, the fact of the matter is, let's just, let's just sum up quickly, OK? Rose gold. Nine carats, 925 sterling silver, check. A larger gram weight than your average engagement ring in precious metal. So actually, yeah, it's 3.80 grams worth of precious metal. So even if you just had a simple engagement band of, you know, your precious metal and it was that same gram weight, what would you be paying? A big amount of money, okay. These are very usable because they're huge, we hardly ever see them. Your price point is discuss. I can't tell you how good a quality these are. I've bought rose gold and yellow gold plated sterling silver ones before. And because of chain mail and because of the way that it weaves, it's wore off the enveloping metal. I've had these ones now for nearly a year mm -hmm. in a bracelet that I wear every day and it's, it's rose gold and it's um, silver in the full Persian yeah. and I wear it every day and not one bit of that rose gold has moved, moved. off of it. So you love 8 95 yeah. You obviously love six ninety five then, but there's the actual I price. I love it even more. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be getting quite a few. Yeah, if I'd have had a couple, I'd have been adding another couple yep. to this because at twenty, I mean, twenty pieces doesn't sound a lot, but you can do an awful lot with twenty of pieces. You, can. you know, you could. That's your that's your Mobius ring. So again, I know we keep going about. That is your barrel with one barrel in an earring. Yeah, you can do a Byzantine link mm. in in these. You could do a butterfly. So say I was going to do a Byzantine pair of earrings yep. a link on each yep. how many would I need for that two four six eight just eight, eight. just eight jump rings oh ten sorry because you need two yeah so you could use yeah ten so ten that's ten. it ten ten and two gemstones if you wanted a gemstone on the end and that's it it's as simple as that how much would I sell them for between 15 and 20 pounds depending on the gemstone that you put on the end so if you use ten of them to make a pair of earrings be selling them for 15 20 pounds and I still have some left yeah if you uh, multi buy yeah. on this yes, realistically, which yeah. is what a lot. Well, look, you've got people buying two. I've got people buying three. Weirdly, no one's bought four, but I have got people buying five. So do treat yourselves to this today if you want high end luxury at what is realistically a shocker of a price point. Um, well done to everyone who's getting that. You've just got yourself a real, real bargain today. There's about 20 jump rings, isn't there, in, if, in a necklace length of a rosary? You know, those, yes. the, those there. Yes, so if you just wanted to use them for that, then... Just as simple as that. Just as simple as that, yeah, just linking them together. Absolutely. Yeah. High-end, precious metal, gram weight-wise, you've got something ever so special. £6.95 for you today. Amazing. OK, lovely lady, I'm with you for another quarter of an hour. Right, I want to just talk through the end brace, uh, the end necklace. necklace. Because, again, this was another bit of a happy accident. And I haven't got a, um, a demo of this, so could I borrow it over can. here? Yep, let me just bring it over mind. in a moment. There we go. Now, there is a Byzantine weave called a rolling Byzantine. Yes. And what that is, is a Byzantine link, like what we've just done in that, that um, triangle. So you just do a Byzantine link, and then you add just two sets of jump rings, just two into two, and then you, with the larger jump ring, you enco enclose those. So they look like they're rolling. Rolling around, okay. yeah. So I thought I could do them with these jump rings, but they're slightly too, the bigger ones are too, small to go over the middle size ones. Got yeah. So what I did is, if you can see here, I've done the Byzantine link. If I pull it out a little bit, Sam, it might be easier to see there. Yeah, around the bottom. Yeah. There, so you can see your Byzantine link, which it looks like a little bow tie. Yes. 
and then I added. Do you want me to point? Yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, hang on, it's this section. That one there. So, wait, that's whoa, whoa. It. There's your byzantine there. That's your byzantine that's one link. link. And then I added just two jump rings to that link. And then with the large, these are using the middle size jump rings, by the way. Yeah. Using the large jump rings, I added one on either side of those jump rings. Can, that's the two there. Those two. So if it there. was a rolling byzantine, you would add another one over the middle. Got but you. it wouldn't go over the middle because it was too small. Got you. So that is, I don't, I don't know if it is a weave. I don't know if I've just stumbled, stumbled across upon a new it. One. Yeah. Um, but that is just another take on Byzantine and Byzantine has so many different takes like we did the flowers in baskets um, last week yeah this is another take just on the Byzantine weave okay so that looks really nice and you just have to make sure that the large jump rings go over the middle the the, the jump rings that you're making the Byzantine out of Got you. if I'd have had some of the little tiny jump rings left I used them all but if I'd have had some of those left I would have done those that two middle jump rings that connects the two Byzantine sections in the small ones and then that would have made a proper rolling Byzantine because they would have gone over the they top. They would have gone over the top. But that is, and I just thought it looked like little <coughs> bits, pony bits. So I really enjoyed it, I really liked making that and it would look great if you got the different colours because you'd really see those. You'd be able to see. The rolling sections, yeah. Love that idea. Okay. At uh, six pounds and 95 pence, what's my quantity like on that, Helena? Because I know you've just walked out, look. <laughs> But I'm just thinking, there's so, so many in baskets. Are you sure this isn't sold out on the web again? I've still got a few of them left, few of them left. But there's so many in baskets. Please check out for us um, just to make sure that you most certainly can. So um, I have got, that's, by the way, that, that I have on your uh, screen right now is the last of the jump rings that we have today and um, so please do check those out if you wish now we are going to move on to something else we are going to have a little nosy at something else in a moment but for those of you who perhaps are interested about um, in chain mail etc do um, feel free to get your hands on our DVDs if you want to um, I've got edition one here for you and this is your introduction to your chain mail um, if you do want to have a look at different projects different ideas different designs and maybe use what you have in your stock and um, then this is a great one for you you can see that it does show you a selection of your different weaves that we have here this is your chain mail edition one that we have here uh, you can see it shows you talks to you about the jump rings it talks to you about your two and two about your different weaves including things like your box weaving your byzantine etc and it gives you a wire gave in gauge information which actually even if you've been doing chainmail for a while, it's quite a good one to kind of have in your back pocket, if that makes sense. Uh, four ninety five is the price for the DVD. Treat yourself to it today. We are going to have a little look yeah, at this now, aren't we? Yeah, just going to talk through that one. And this this one again came about. I used sections of chainmail mm -hmm. and then laid them out on my board and to see how I could jigsaw them together okay. to make a bracelet so I can show you and all that is is just sections of Byzantine so if Sam's finished with it, if I just bring it over here yeah. and I can show I thank know. you if I just undo it and these little s clasps that perfect they are perfect there. for for chain mail she says she can't get it off <laughs> <laughs> keeps very secure that's it so what I did is I made six sections of Byzantine mm -hmm. okay so all it was is six sections and I laid them out and I decided trying to decide how I could connect them together okay. so this section here and here this is a Japanese weave Quite this is your Japanese it's it is a 12 in two but I've done it six in one because I've only used one of each yeah. because I didn't want to use all my jump rings for it and then what I decided to do is try and make this section into a square a little bit like the square on the on pendant. the pendant I made this first and then wanted to make the pendant the same, but then that went a little bit okay. into a different direction. So this stood alone then as a piece. Ah. And all you're going to do is you just, with your fabulous eye pins that you get, are just linked into these Byzantine sections. And because this is quite an open weave with these jump rings, you can add wire into there. Okay. So you could even add these sections into Laura's cuff that she did yesterday so when you're in your wiring your gemstones in yes you could wire some of these sections in because you've got lots of areas to get the wire in got and make you. them stable so you could do a wire and chain mail section Fab. 
Same with your mobile. Yeah, you could do most of the. You could do little sections of full Persian and put that in. Lovely. This. So all I did was I just added a bead onto an eye pin and made an, an eye loop on the other side and just connected those together. Okay. And then decided how I could connect those two strips to each other and just thought the big rings made it into a more substantial cuff. So if you get this kit home and you've sort of like made the cross and you don't know what else to do with the rest of the kit, just sit and make little sections of chainmail up and just puzzle them together yeah. because you can get some beautiful effects and don't be frightened of chainmail. No. Because I know a lot of people have said, oh, it's a bit too scary, it looks too technical. It's not, it really isn't. Because at the end of the day, you could take all these off and you've still got all your components left Absolutely. and you've not damaged anything. You know, I could undo all these chainmail jump rings the same as you would open, open the door. Yeah. yeah, don't pull them apart, open and close the door. And you've still got all your gemstones. The only thing you've lost is four eye pins. That's it. Six eye pins. That's, That's it. it. So, so give it a go. And it is, it's one of those that if you're into things like your knitting and your crochet, it's yeah. just about following a pattern. Yeah, that's all it is, is a pattern. And you can go random with it like this. You know, you can just then get sections of it and say, how can I make that work? And don't be afraid to try weaves with different ring sizes. So if I've said, oh, you can only use a five mil, try it with other things because I've done a full Persian in a seven mil jump ring and it fell flat. Okay. And it looked beautiful. But it looked nice. And it, yeah, but it was still the same weave, but it just gave a different look to different it. Different appeal. So just don't be frightened to do it and you you open and close these you can open and close these jump rings 10 20 times and they'll still be the same beautiful that you've a little bit more um, gentle with your precious metals because yeah. it's a softer metal of course. so just be a little bit more careful when you're opening and closing those mm -hmm. but exactly the same you're not going to break them they're still exactly the same as what you bought them if wonderful. you decide to take it apart wonderful thank you so no much problem. for showing us all of those as okay. always we've had so many messages in for you really really lovely ones some of them we've been unable to read out um, just because we haven't got enough time um, and other issues um, but do uh, feel free to keep messages in we have got a couple that we can show now um, so many lovely messages in genuinely I'll tell you I'll tell you what yeah, some of them said you. in the break hi Becky and Fleur please Fleur can you do a workshop we need you <laughs> you're brilliant best wishes from Norma thank you Norma yeah I shall uh, go and see the powers upstairs the powers <laughs> that be and see. and see yeah and see if we can arrange something absolutely yeah, it may be obviously it'll take a few kind of months yeah. in the prep if we're able yeah. to but if we are we will definitely let it hi all should be doing other things but addicted to jewelry maker <laughs> that's all right i won't tell anyone and um, do you have to work hard and the join of the jump rings loving the show and that's from brenda hi brenda thank you for joining us the actual action of coiling the jump rings will yeah. work hard in any way yes then to leave that wire to settle again helps with that work on a little bit somebody told me it's like when you've cooked a joint of meat if you let it rest it's better yes because it relaxes and the muscle at uh, the muscle the metal relaxes the again memory of the metal relaxes yeah. in the coil and um, then the action of opening and closing the jump ring will also work hard on it chain mail was designed um, centuries ago to be strong just through linking of jump rings and it's the linking of the jump rings that keeps them together so that yeah. it's not going to pull apart if you use 0.6 it will pull apart of because it it's, a, it's a it's a a lesser, wire. lesser yeah. wire yeah it's got not as much density with the point eights like we said with the beautiful pink wire you could only go i would only go up to a five mil jump in ring size, in yeah. size in in a diameter so that would be just under a six six, six, six point six, five six yeah. ish yeah, yeah six um just again because you want the strength and the strength comes from the the rigidity of you know of everything it's just the linking together mm -hmm. and it's I always find it amazing that you can be so tough with chainmail, but it's so easy to open and close a jump ring. Yes, absolutely. And it's, the strength comes from linking them all together. The power of the them pattern. working together. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope that helps you. Uh, don't need to. You don't need to. It will work hard and just yeah. by the way in which you yeah. use them. We are heading over to a very quick break now because we want this little lady to be able to get on with her challenge. How is it going? <laughs> I've done my bracelet, my crochet bracelet. Ooh. I'm so excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, you know, a little bit of crochet. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we will be having a look at that and her other pieces later on after the break. I have got for you that amazing chain I showed you earlier on. I have got that ridiculously low price tourmaline. It's going to be under £15. Promised you that already. I don't mean by a pound. Um, and I've also got some gorgeous 
big slabs of tiger's eye. It's stunning. Stay where you are. We're back in about three and a half minutes. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. Okay, today I've been on the Wire Macrame workshop with Mark Smith. Um, been an absolutely brilliant day. Made, found loads of new techniques that I haven't done before with Wire and Macrame. And we've made quite a few different items of jewellery to take away. It's been a real good experience. Great teacher, very patient with us, and we've been having a good laugh. I've done a bit of normal macrame with your satin cords and that, but with the wire it's a totally new aspect for me and I've found it absolutely amazing. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewellery Maker FIFO reviews. Join Jewellery Maker and specialist guest designer Debbie Bulford for a fun and relaxing day discovering the addictive appeal of chainmail. This workshop is ideal for beginners and will introduce the fundamentals of this art form. You will be guided through a range of beginners weaves and learn how to create your own Byzantine bracelet and earring set. The full course includes a pack of 200 jump rings, a toggle clasp, a pair of shepherd hook earrings, the chainmail tutorial DVD, use of all relevant tools, a buffet star lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a chance to meet the presenters, and take a visit to our gem museum. All this for just $74.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Come and join Jewellery Maker on Facebook and get involved with over 50,000 people who have liked us. You'll get up-to-date information about our channel from the latest images of designs by our fantastic guests. Gossip on what is coming up in the shows and the newest information on our workshops. You can get in contact with Jewellery Makers all over the world and get some fantastic hints and tips. Simply search Jewellery Maker in the search box or go to facebook.com forward slash Jewellery Maker UK and you're there. You don't even need to have a Facebook account. We can't wait to see you there. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. everybody to design inspiration we are in our last hour now of the wonderful afternoon show it's such a shame but don't worry the last hour is going out with a bang starting off with a bang from <laughs> Blair! <laughs> hello lovely Hello. how are you oh okay Fizzling away. <laughs> <laughs> what are you having to challenge going, please? Yeah, I've done um, a beautiful cha um, chained crochet. Oh, that is so bracelet. gorgeous. That's coming nicely. Yeah, so I'm just going to attempt to ring. Ooh. Get me with all this wire work. Can can't I? wait, can't <laughs> wait. We'll show you those later on as the challenge progresses. Now, loads and loads and loads coming up for you in this next hour. I have got some low stock opportunities and when I say low stock opportunities I'm in less than 10 
on some of the products I'm about to bring you. We don't tend to do it, we don't generally do it, but we're going to because the 10 or less I've got are on amber, huge, big pieces of amber. So that's coming up for you very, very soon, as well as massive pieces of tiger's eye, gorgeous amethyst as well. We're gonna start off with your carnelian drops. Please be in quick for these. Um, anything you see in this next hour, let's get it gone, let's get it out the door, and let's get sped through so I can show you all of the products I want to show you today because there are so many. Let's get started with your carnelian drops. These are your graduated plain drops that we have here. They're around a seven by five at the smallest point, all the way to the center ones, which are around the seven, uh, sorry, the 14 by seven. So a big difference in size that we've got here. This is lovely because it's more of the kind of dramatic tone than what we had for you earlier. So these ones, look, you know I was talking about the masculine and feminine tone. We had this strand earlier on. This is carnelian as well. This is the more feminine tones. And then you've got the masculine tones. This is from the Roman times, what they used to believe. So if you bought these two together, you're going to be able to create a gorgeous looking piece. Um, your price point today for your carnelian is just £7.95. What do you think of this strand? What would you do with it, please, Fleur? I'd love to put it with that fire opal that we had earlier, yeah. definitely. Um, I'd like to see that in, in chainmail with the yellow gold and just as the drops. If you've got the yellow gold square profile jump rings, yeah. then I'd love to see those as the droppers where I use the moonstone and the, um, and the black in both the kits. I'd love to see those ones in, in with the yellow gold chainmail. Love that idea. £7.95, got to move on. Not many left. Where to next, Helena? Let's do one of the amber cabs for you. Which one do you want to do? Let's do this one. Um, this is your amazing, astonishing amber. I'm sure you all know when amber is, but if you don't, take a little look, fall in love, and then I will tell you exactly what it is. It's astonishing. This is your beautiful amber cab. I have such a small quantity of this. I'm talking last chance saloon easily. Your, ca your amber is absolutely exceptional quality. You can see that massive amount of internal um, inclusions that we have in here, and that is a massive positive. This essentially is a resin. It's a resin um, that is excreted from a tree, uh, majoritively your monkey puzzle tree. It's formed as a form of protection, and it is essentially one of the only resins that will not um, dissolve or disperse or discolour or change due to the surrounding environment. So that means that it's n it hasn't, um, you know, over time, even though this is, well, I'm talking um, millions of years old, we're talking can be sort of around five um, um, million years old, this piece could be. Um, where even when we're working with this, okay, quantity's going down, I need to get your price in, sorry. 9.95 for you today it's huge you will definitely be getting a 12 by 20 amber cabochon let me show you how that equates if i put it against my finger oh sorry if i just balance it if i can okay there you go so perfect sizing for me when it comes to a ring because it's a really really large size amount of amber that we have here not many of these left whatsoever probably got about 15 of them left at this moment in time i have got another amber cab um but it is a slightly different shape slightly different size nine pounds and 95 pence for you today it is absolutely astonishing it's an encapsulation of nature and just get it home to fully appreciate it i've got little like leaf-like structures in mine i've actually got a wing in mine. I have a wing from some sort of creature in mine, because don't forget, this resin, essentially what happens is it captures the organics around it from back in that time. So say that this is around five million years old, I can have bugs, animals, creatures encapsulated within here that are extinct, that don't even exist anymore. That's how amazing this is. It is such a stunning organic. Nine pounds and 95 pence, not many of those left. Please check out your baskets. Once you lot check out, I'll have three or four left, that's it. Next one is this one slightly different appearance this is the last piece of amber i have on for you in this afternoon show and it is your amber cab quantity on this is extremely low 10 of these ones uh, this is your amber oval cabochon that we have here oh look just appreciate this it's a little bit larger if i show you in comparison in fact those two working together could you imagine that That'd be stunning, wouldn't it? Uh, this one's slightly larger. It's your 15 by 20, and it's your oval cabochon, but you'll be able to see it is slightly more of a dramatic oval due to that shaping on this. Your internal inclusions are completely and absolutely natural that we have in there. The way that it captivates the light and almost spins those back into your eye is so eye-catching. Amber is something that we haven't been able to get our hands on that much recently. 
I'm already low in stock. I've actually now got four in stock. Four in stock. Once you lot check out, I'll have four left. Your price point today? It's just £11.95. Now, don't forget, this is quite a lot larger than the other one, hence why you've got the higher price point. £11.95. That's it. I've got four of these left. In fact, it's a goner. I'm sorry, that's a lie. I've got none left. £11.95 for you today. I did have multi buyers on that. I've got so many astonishing um, pieces coming up for you. Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> Threw me off then. Okay, this is stunning, stunning quality. Have you got that picture for me, please, Ryan? I've got a stunning quality amethyst here for you right now. This is your African amethyst. Now, when we're saying your African amethyst, you know you've got that big name in your head of exactly where this could be from. And you could well be right because it's depicting all of those areas to me. You can tell the quality of amethyst a number of ways, but one way is due to the fact that it has been cut to give you as much fluidity throughout your pieces. I've got a picture of rough for you here now. So can you see that huge amount of banding? That area in the center, that white area in the center, if we had that just as an entire piece of amethyst, you wouldn't want it, would you? You wouldn't want that, that white area there just to be on one of your beads, would you? No. So what we have to do, what the lapidists have to do, is pick out the beautiful internal effects that we know you would want at home. That means that a lot of that will be wasted. A lot of that will be rough and wasted completely. And that's why when you get amethyst that still has that beautiful, almost Zambian body of colour running through it, but actually you don't have too much of those depths and zones in it that's how you're going to be demanding that higher price point look it's astonishing no lines no depiction areas where you're looking and thinking hang on wait is that even purple or is that just white no areas like that whatsoever you've got that rich deep sumptuous palette running through these you're not going to believe the price i genuinely believe that 90 carats worth we have here of your amethyst now genuinely this quality is astonishing when you're getting this formed in that geode state so um what we mean is you've got um, kind of your hollow host rock and then these form within there in that beautiful huge geode um, you're getting this kind of the, the am, um, amethyst sorry gets the opportunity to pick up other elements different areas and gives you this deep rich coloring please don't forget for me that that is a natural coloring that isn't us treating it this is natural completely natural amethyst gorgeous clarity on this high end to the extreme because when we see amethyst I'll be completely honest with you amethyst is my birthstone so of course I'm going to love it amethyst is also my favorite color I love purple as a color so of course I'm going to love it but actually amethyst is one of those gemstones that I also love because everybody knows it. When you look at this gemstone, I would I would even go as far as to say, even if you had, oh, I don't know, a seven-year-old, eight-year-old, asked them, showed them this, and asked them what gemstone they thought it would be, I would say that probably 90% would know that it was amethyst. Because although it's not one of your big four, uh, it's one of those renowned gemstones. When you're younger, you'll know your, your diamond, your sapphire, your ruby, your emerald, and you know your amethyst. It has that name, it has that prestige, and it's eye-catching to the extreme for that reason. It's covered in folklore, myths, legends, and entertaining kind of um, backstory to this. It's absolutely astonishing. This was one of the main and most kind of um, prevalent uh, gemstones in things like your Greek mythology, which of course, again, is really, really captivating and interesting to learn about and I would say in fact that's another reason that I knew about this as a child because I knew about the ancient stories and tales that you know I used to get told at school and and by my mother as well who was massive massive into kind of those Greek mythology stories I knew about that from that I knew about it from things I'd learnt in school and kind of um, that kind of instantly captivated me and instantly kind of caught my attention and don't forget we're in January already I know we're 10 days into January next month is February this is the birthstone of February in a lot of places a lot of places on the high street it goes up in price as soon as it's a birthstone month it will go up in price and um, they're able to do that for a lot of different reasons they'll take time effort and money on kind of presenting it in a slightly different way and um, they'll do it in the way that they'll do entire window displays to catch your attention so they are able to offer you a little bit of a higher price point there and they do that time and time again and don't forget 
it's a, seemed a very, very thoughtful gift. If you have something like this to pass on to make for your best friend who's born in February, and don't forget, it's not just February babies, it's also Aquarius you are, aren't you, Helena? It's also for Aquarius as well. It's the um, Zodiac Stone for Aquarius as well. Um, and we're coming into that in the next couple of weeks. So it's Aquarius and it's February birthstone. Perfect time to purchase it now, especially when the quality is there. They're one of the most workable sides with your six mil that faceted their exquisite names about to go on my screen your price point today can you get over that just seven pounds and 95 pence for this this is amethyst this is one of those gemstones that we know we love we adore when we're working with amethyst don't forget this isn't although you know we see it on jewelry maker quite a bit this isn't the general quartz price point i know in high end not sorry high end stores kind of your um what i'm thinking your high street stores is what i mean when i go into my high street stores you know that one i always pop into and sometimes get recognized in and then i have to hang my head and kind of run out because i'm slightly embarrassed um that unknown um crafting stall <laughs> not that one ryan um your crafting stall um when i go in there um they, you can get, you know, genuine quartz. They usually just do them as like an individual pendant at the one I'm, I'm, I'm local to. They'll do your clear quartz and they'll have exactly the same size, exactly the same shape, but it'll be amethyst next to it and it'll be a couple of quid more. This demands a higher price point. Your names have gone off my screen uh, almost. Once everyone checks out, I've got triple buyers left, right and centre. I've got double buyers as well. Please do check this out because I can honestly say to you, this is the best time really to be buying your amethyst because you're hitting two markets in one. £7.95 for you today. It's beautiful. I've got some really good offers coming up for you today. <laughs> Starting off with this one. Gosh, look at the quality. Guess how much? I don't like it when you say things like that, Helena, because it really worries me, because I know it's going to be stupid price. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? Quality is astonishing. Brand new by themselves. Never seen them before by themselves. The quality of this is stifling, actually, isn't it? even on the smallest ones look it's not just the largest ones and um, you've got that gorgeous effect that beautiful detail on here i've got so many um uh, products to fit in and there's lots of you coming in for this so thank you um i've got here such a high quality of labradorite don't forget that's not a coating this is totally natural it's to do with the formation of the gem it's to do with the structure of the gem um, and you get this beautiful spill of colors oh my gosh i've just got one of the rarest colors of labradorescence there and it's purple in fact i've got it on two I've, in fact, I've got it on three. Look in this section, see if you can get it. Purples. I've got purple in three of those. That is one of the rarest colours of Labradorescence that and purples going through that one I can see. That's the one I can see it. Um, purple is one of the rarest colours of Labradorescence. It's basically to do with, the different colours are basically to do with whereby the light falls and where it comes from in the gemstone so how deep essentially it is within the gemstone um it is a massive massive lengthy strand we've got of this here and um, plenty of you coming in for this it worries me when we've got quality like this and my producer says guess the price price point today not no no not happy not happy. <coughs> Not happy. Not happy. Not happy. Genuinely, can you? You must be I able to see it from there. there. I could see beautiful, like amber tones and yellow tones, just right in the centre there, mm. and blues. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. <coughs> Excuse me. It uh, is astonishing, isn't it? I saw the pinks as well. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. No wonder I've got multi buyers on this. Voted, of course, your favourite gemstone, probably for the fact that it's interesting, it's exquisite, it, the quality is genuinely, genuinely at the bottom of my heart. When I joined a year ago, just over a year ago now. Uh, when I joined, just over a year ago. Um, I used to spend a vast amount of my time with Labradorite saying, I know you can't see the Labradorescence, it's because of the light in here, and it generally truly is. But the fact of the matter is, our quality has gone up so much, I don't even need to say that anymore. I really don't. It's one of those never going to let you down strands because you're going to get this home and it's going to spin and span and burst with the light in front of your eyes, and it's going to look better, actually, to you than it does here in the studio. And Fleur, 
Number one seller for you, isn't it, Labradorite? Yep. And I've said, I've went back and looked at my history of everything that I've ordered in the last three and a half years, and I've bought it every single month. Every single month? Every single month. And I've, that's because it is your biggest seller? It's my biggest seller, and it's my favourite gemstone as well. Not because it's my biggest seller, no. just because of that optical property inside it. Yeah. Um, it's like rainbows and fairies and unicorns. Absolutely, <laughs> really, isn't yeah. it? And it'd be beautiful. If you got the first kit with the moonstone, it'd be a beautiful um, put to put into that, that in into that kit with that moonstone. Especially as the shapes. Yeah, exactly the same, aren't they? Mm. Can you see that? <laughs> um, oh, hello, wait. There you go. Yeah, isn't that perfect? Yeah. Perfect together. Imagine those as a pairing. Oh, it, perfect. It, it's just, it's just a, an amazing strand. It's stunning, isn't it? Six pounds and 95 pence for you today. Don't forget, I've got that chain. How weird is that? I was just about to say. Don't forget, I've got that chain. And now, we're doing it for you. Listen. This chain is probably going to knock your socks off. What's the price of 10 metres of chain at Jewelry Maker? 24.95. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes 30, of course, yeah, depending on the kind of, um, you know, the weight of it, etc. But yeah, sometimes 30. I've done it on sale at 19.95 as well. Um, what price are you used to seeing, please, for our chains, 10 metres worth? Um, we've said, you know, 24.95. Yeah, I what? think the last one I bought was about nearly 30. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nearly yeah. 30 pounds. For 10, 10 metres. For 10 metres, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, thing is, we've started doing our own branded chains. We haven't always done them, we haven't always done them, but we've started doing our own branded chains now. Um, it's just important to show you, 10 metres worth you do get on this. It's those gorgeous large link loops. The phone lines are about to go coco loco. So what I'm going to do is I'm giving you guys on the internet the chance to get in before the crowd's getting on the phone. So you can see the price point. It's not it's not 30 pounds, is it? It's not even it's not even the the 1995 price point. So I'm giving you I'm only going to give you a minute because don't worry telephone corners, I'm not forgetting about you. I'm not forgetting about you telephone callers at all. It's just for the fact that um, we've got so many of these that don't worry about it. It just means that people who really, really, really want it, now you get a chance to get it on the phone. So basically, if everyone, if I got the price in right now, everyone would get on the phone, everyone would get on the web, and basically it'd crash or you'd be in massive queues. So I'm just dragging out a little bit for you. Don't worry, I've got hundreds of these. I've got plenty of opportunities for you, so don't worry about it. Your names have gone off my screen, by the way, just as a heads up. Um, this isn't going to be one of those high price pieces, even though it should be because of the quality this is brass now when we talk about brass you've got a weightier appeal to it it's weightier than your um, copper essentially because it has it has a higher amount in there of those weightier pieces but important to note, it is still gold plated take a really good look at these uh, it's still genuine real gold plating this isn't gold coloring this is genuine gold gold plating on this I said I'd only leave it a minute and I'd give you all the chance and I promised and I'm going to. Your price point today isn't £30, it's not even £25, it's £9.95 for you today. Oh! Do you know we're into our crochet? Yeah, we love you a bit of crochet. You can use this as your foundation strand for crochet. You can use that as your it's foundation your chain. chain for crochet and crochet off of it with Zari threads or, or the silk cords, something like that. You can, it's, I saw it on a well known, and it's amazing. And you can use it, and then it becomes substantial. So you've got the beautiful high end gold, and then you can use your threads. If you, oh, your wires. Wait, wait, my gold 0.4, I can crochet off this. So this can be my chain, and then I can do your crochet drop down. So you could do, yeah, a substantial chain, because sometimes with crochet with wire, if it's in a neckline piece and it's been tugged all the time, yeah. it could snap. It can snap out, yeah. yeah, it can do. Or it could pull the links. Yeah. Whereas with this, it with won't. With this, you won't get that. No. 
Oh, Fleur, I adore you, but it's also slightly annoying because I'm in a hotel today and I don't have my crochet hooks with me. <laughs> oh, come on, you can borrow it. <laughs> oh, my days. Uh, loads of you are coming in for this now. That is such a fantastic idea. It really, really is. Ten metres worth, though. Let's talk about the length of that. How much is that going to make us? OK, let's have a little think. I'm a, OK, I've got sparrow wrist, so I'll make an exception. I'll make it for, you know, the, the slightly more usual wrists. So say I've got about that much. That's a bracelet. Perfect, by the way, for your charm bracelets because the links are so large. I can get a lovely cluster on there if I wanted to. Okay, let's have a look. Mm, that would be, well, on mine it says, an, ooh, it says eight, 180 centimetres, making it a bit larger. Let's make it super duper large just for kind of um, ease. And let's say it's actually 20 centimetres worth for a bracelet. That would be, if I did 20 centimetres worth, that would be with a little bit of extra chain detail for a nice little drop. How many 20 centimetre bracelets would I be able to get out of this, please, Helena? <laughs> oh, maths. Is it 50? No, that's got to be wrong, hasn't it? Oh, I don't know. I don't, don't guess, Becky. Yeah. So, babe, the easiest way to do it is if you do 10, no, if you do 1,000 centimetres divided by 20. Yeah, got it. Literally, when I said that then, as opposed to Helena being like, oh my gosh, oh, hang on, let me work it out. It was just, oh, um, oh, hang on. 50, it is 50. Yeah, amazing. How good is that? I'm horrendous at maths. I'm so chuffing myself. Uh, so I'd be able to do about 50 bracelets for this. And even if I only sold them at five pounds a pop with a few extra bits on, um, money making is redonkulous. 995 is going to be a sellout in the next few seconds. Probably got about 40 of those in baskets and not that many left. So please do check out. I'm going to add something very special for you here right now. Before I properly show you it, before we get the graphics up and everything, I just need to say to you that general rule for this gemstone, you're going to be expecting to pay around the £20 mark, which is why I've said to you before, didn't I, that you are going to get tourmaline for under £15, and I don't mean by a pound. I really don't mean by a pound at all. This is such a prestigious and exquisite gemstone. Um, and it's also, again, very much like the Songhee and Sapphire ad for you earlier, um, this is very much one of those locational spectaculars. I've got a slide, actually, for you, just to pick it, and um, that you can have a little look at now. Just um, This is lovely Steve Bennett on the bottom there. Um, this is your tourmaline. Now, that's a piece of the rough there. And can you see the area that's highlighted on the map? That'll be in the area that we um, have sourced this one from. Um, it's some of the finest tourmaline comes from Brazil, and that's where this one I'm about to bring you is from. Um, he's just saying in that explanation there that the mine, the owner of the mine that he's visited recently showed him around the mine, and Steve asked him how much tourmaline the mine was currently producing. And the fact of the matter is that the um, mine owner explained that the gem was found in very small pockets. And once you found the pocket, they might have a really good yield for a couple of days, but then they could go months and sometimes years without finding any more decent deposits. This gemstone is from Brazil, like that location that we were talking about just there. So you can find a decent pro uh, uh, sort of pocket of it, because of the way this formed, and get it for days and days and days, but you might be searching for one of those pockets for weeks, months, and years. Apparently, I read a little bit more and spoke to Steve about this a while ago, and when he had that conversation with the mine owner, and actually, the mine owner said that the longest they went without finding a decent deposit was three years. Three years searching day and day and day for a decent yield of this. It's astonishing. But they do it because it's absolutely stunning and because it is one of the best-selling gemstones out there on the market today. That's why we demand high price for this, because it's renowned, it's known, it's stunning. It gives you this myriad of gorgeous colours. It gives you this dancing-like appeal when you look at kind of the different feels. Um, you've got that mottled effect. You've got complete whole colours of this. You've got pinks, purples, clears, um, deep, rich purples. You've got such a beautiful myriad of colours running through here that you can demand that higher price. And also, again, it is a known gemstone. It's used by the big names. It's used on big locations, um, you know, 
know, big high streets, etc., on um, in you know um, London and places like that. It is a well-known gemstone. Yes, I have already told you that it's going to be less than fifteen pounds, and that already in itself is a massive rarity when it comes to the tourmaline. It's a ridiculously, ridiculously low um, low amount. It really, really is. We've had a lot, a lot, a lot of these being purchased, um, a, a lot of pieces that we have had um, of your tourmaline around the £20 mark. I know I've done a strand of tourmaline for you in the 40s, actually, before. Um, this is a really workable size, a really workable shape. It's your 6 mil rounds. The fact that I'm about to say to you that almost, oh, that's just changed now, but about a third of the people who have bought this have multi-bought it should give you an idea of what to expect for price. I've told you it's going to be less than 15. I didn't tell you that it was actually going to be this price. Eight ninety-five, and I didn't tell you that because it's a lie. We have to price match what has been done on this at the launch price because it's been done in the last thirty days. Your price point today is actually not eight ninety-five. It's. I thought we only took a pound off it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was producer Danny. It's nothing to do with me. Six ninety-five. That is absolutely a shocker. That is completely and absolutely mind-boggling. The fact of the matter is, I cannot even think of a time that we have done tourmaline at um, a nuggets even at that price, let alone such a workable, usable size like this. We know it's going to be a sellout. I did actually tell you that at the very beginning of the show that this was going to be a sellout. The fact of the matter was that we did, last time I sold this, I launched it, we did about 70, and I've only got 71 today. And I did that on a late show, and it was in the week. So, of course, these are going to absolutely fly out. Not got many of these left for you at all, so please do check out those baskets. Once you lot check out, I'll probably have one or two of these left. Not a lot at all. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, you're looking at me very sort of happily. You, well, I don't know if it's me or the tourmaline. Tourmaline. I've oh, been waiting rude. for tourmaline. <laughs> rude. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> I've been waiting for tourmaline for a long time. Have you? Yeah. It's um, the ancient Egyptians used to believe from this gemstone that there was a rainbow in the centre of the earth, mm. and as this gemstone came to the top it passed through the rainbow which is why it's all the colours oh, and colors. I wanted to do a big Egyptian necklace with tourmaline because oh. it's, it was so tourmaline was like I say they thought it was a gift yeah, from that. from the centre of the earth I love that yeah. that would be beautiful mm. oh if only you were and it's all gone if only you weren't here <laughs> um, in the nicest way <laughs> in the nicest way if only you weren't here you could purchase it is what I mean <laughs> how many of these do I have left I've got 19 left and I've got 28 of these in baskets. This is the final countdown on this strand and I need to let you know, lovely ladies and gents, that um, we have so few of these left. We, and as far as I know, what I have in stock now is what I have in stock. That's it. Well, it's gone, it's gone. Uh, well done to all of you getting this. Names going off my screen twice. Lots of multi-buyers on this. Absolute complete bargain for you today. It's a stunner. Anyone up for another stunning gemstone? Just to say to you, very important if you wanted that challenge that you're getting it. Or especially as I'm going to add something that will go beautifully with it. This is again that one locational gemstone. Now if you didn't join me earlier on for kind of my discussion about Larimar, um, essentially we were saying that it's a very small mining area, tiny mining area in fact, in the Dominican Republic, beautiful colour palette. Um, and when you are in the Dominican Republic, they really kind of make a big deal about the appeal of this. They have whole shops just dedicated to the gemstone, which isn't something we do over here that often. We might do it with diamonds and maybe with pearls in kind of the really connoisseur areas, but other than that, we don't really do it. They have entire shops dedicated to this uh, gemstone. Have you got that other Larimar strand I sent you? Uh, slide I sent you, please, lovely director, Ryan. 
Yeah, so this is about the location in which we get this from the Dominican Republic. It's that tiny, tiny location there. The, cut of the star is actually covering it and more. Um, <laughs> it's such a tiny, tiny location. We're looking at about a sixteenth of the size um, of the area in which you get uh, tanzanite from. It's so much smaller. And if we show you that slide as well of the um, window display, so you can see how much they love this gemstone. Look at it. That's the entire window display entire shop dedicated to this exceptional exceptional gemstone because you're in the location because it's such a rarity because it's so much loved over there for small amounts of this for car for a carrot's worth you will be and this isn't you can be you will be paying triple figures for a carrot's worth and um, you've got 75 carrots worth in here though we are able to give you astonishing price points on this amazing one locational gemstone and um, for people who have just tuned in you were saying earlier that your friend's got a ring wasn't it yeah uh, a really small ring um it was 200 pound i don't know what metal it was in mm. um it won't be platinum it was either sterling silver or or white gold. white gold yeah but yeah it was really small beautiful color mm. absolutely beautiful yeah. and it looked you could see all the the patterns that in it but it was i was quite shocked at the size that it was for the money that for she the paid. price that it was absolutely agree with that and they can demand these higher price points for it uh, your price is here I need to let you know this the prices here are so astonishing because the genuine Jensen company has an extraordinary relationship with the mine owner in that area uh, in particular one of the areas and also for the fact that actually when we buy it we don't just buy 20, 30, 40 strands, we buy as much as we possibly can because we know it's one of your absolute favourites. Your price point today, you're going to adore. £6.95 pence for this today is absolutely astonishing. For that massive carrot weight, for that unique individual colour and for that beautiful, beautiful effect, what would you do with this please, lovely? A necklace to match my bracelet. Good plan. <laughs> I love that idea actually. Yeah, and. Um, it's, it, they're, they're really sizable, aren't they? Though, so you could sort of like go around a cabochon. If you had a beautiful black cabochon, yeah. like an onyx, I'd love to frame it. I've just framed one of these little grey. Um, I mean, little, oh, the crazy agate. Yeah, yeah. So th that sort of thing, but on a larger scale. Love that I'd love idea. Love to use it in that. Yeah. Because that's what you want to do, really. If you're making something, a, a neckline piece to go with a bracelet, you often yeah. want that juxtaposition, yeah. the delicate on yeah. the wrist and the bolder the that's neckline. That's it. And because they're bigger than the ones that I've got in my challenge yeah. that would work perfectly because these are perfect for your bracelet yeah. and they would be perfect for your for your necklace for your neckline piece so if you yeah. did get the kit or if you're planning on because I have got a few of those left we'll have a little look later on if you're planning on getting the challenge kit um, then do you get this as well with it I would honestly honestly say that do get this with it because genuinely they're just perfect together six pounds and 95 pence for you today well done to everyone who's got that check out those baskets not many left lowest price point we can go to you wouldn't expect to pay that for Laramont anywhere else you really wouldn't where to in the jar box number one is that what I think it is another one of the big four sapphire again look at how beautiful This strand is. Wow, that is beautiful. It's really gorgeous. It's isn't it? genuinely amazing. Look at <laughs> multicolored sapphire. Wow. I want one. You want one? I want one. <laughs> Be completely honest with me. Don't bump for this up for TV. Be bottom of your heart honest with me now, because yep. I know obviously you shop at jewellery maker. Yep. How much would you, if you were sat at home right now, yeah. how much would you be happy to pay for this strand of sapphire? If it was, at jewellery maker prices? Yeah, if it was 50, 60 pounds, then I would be buying it. You'd be snapping it up? Yeah. yeah. If I said to you, honestly, that this was going to be 30 pounds, what would you say? I would be doing little dance around <laughs> the living room <laughs> because... I thought that they got the price wrong and I'd be quickly buying it before they realised and yep. <laughs> put the price back up. Yep. £29.95 is absolutely astonishing for this. The sad thing is it's not actually that price. Your price point today... 
Hmm. <laughs> I've just started wire work and I'm loving working with these and wire. So yeah, I, for me to be able to work with sapphires would be, I, I'd be over the moon and at that price. I get that and the song gear sapphires. I was just going to put them together. Just going to. I mean, they, they would be. As we say up north, the Bobby Dazzler. That is a Bobby Dazzler. Genuine Bobby Dazzler, isn't it? Just Song gear sapphires at the bottom of your screen right now. That amazing locational sapphire. Just to put four or five in each drop of an earring, just on a head pin, on a featherweight head pin. Would you like these then? <laughs> Sorry, they have gone. <laughs> Sorry, they've sold out. <laughs> Sorry. You, are, you can still get your Songi and Sapphire, though, um, if you want it. It's, it's still an amazing price, that, actually. OK, how do you feel about having some... Really quick one, this one. Really, really quick one, because not that many of them. It's just a beautiful colour palette, and my producer absolutely adores this. Not that many of them left. She just wants you to get the last few of these if you want them. It is your peach-coloured moonstone, and these are in your 12ml rounds. You have got beautiful colour palette on these. I just, if I may, just show you these next to the carnelian because it's the same shape and size. They're quite a nice kind of pairing, actually, aren't they? Quite a nice pairing because you've obviously got the effect coming off this moonstone, which we could see here. But actually, because they're the same size and shape, it's kind of a beautiful bit of adds a bit of warmth, I think, this strand to the moonstone. They'd be a nice pairing together. 400 carats worth of your peach moonstone we have here for you today. You've got massive pieces, huge carat weight. Your price point on this today is not £15.95. We are taking it down. Well done. Don't worry, everyone pays the same. I know you've already bought it, but for all of you who've already bought it, everyone pays the same, just in case you are new to us. Price point is actually £10.95. £5 back in your pocket with these today. They're big, they're bold. They're going to catch um, They're going to catch your eye and they're going to turn heads. And at that price point, I hope you are attracted to them as much as everyone on my screen is £10.95 for you today 400 carats worth of your peach moonstone last chance to purchase get it whilst you can I've got a few of these left but you do need to check out those baskets on it if you want them because they are beautiful and actually a really gorgeous colour palette to get involved with um, because it's, it's going to go with everything really isn't it that lovely neutral colour £10.95 for you today oh, I'm so excited to bring you these I lo 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 love them have you got that picture of the rough for me? Please, Director Ryan. Oh, come here, sardonic, you may. Stop falling about. You're attention seeking. Um, have a little look at the rough of this gemstone because I think it's beautiful. That is the rough of this gemstone. And actually, what I find really exciting is when you blend into this, it almost looks like this could have been taken from that. Doesn't it? It almost looks like it could have. It almost looks like it could have actually come directly from that piece, doesn't it? This is your stunning tiger's eye that we have here. Amazing, amazing quality tiger's eye that we've got. Um, I've got such a gorgeous range in here when it comes to the colour, in the sense that it goes all the way from these gorgeous caramel golds all the way to that deep, rich chocolate that we have running through each of these. Completely natural for you today on this tiger's eye. Please don't forget that for me. Really, really natural. This isn't a coating that we've added at all. This is real deal natural appeal. Oh, that's catchy, if I do say so myself. Um, <laughs> that's a keeper. Um, 600 carats worth I have here for you. It is beautiful, beautiful quality. The lovely thing about these ones actually is the fact that you can use them as cabochons if you wanted to, like a faux cabochon, and just use that drill hole as kind of your extra detail effect if you wanted to. Um, have that as extra security, especially if you are a bit like Fleur and perhaps you're know, starting out on your wire work, cabochons can be a bit scary. But when you've got that added security, if, like your hidden drill hole as it were then it makes it life so much easier it makes life so much easier 600 carats worth of these massive amount let me count them out for you two four six eight nine i've got on mine of course it might be slightly different for you it might be slightly more it might be slightly less but it probably will be similar to that nine on mine if i were to do these as individual cabochons for you tiger's eye you're looking at about 
Well, in fact, I've seen Tiger's Eye at that well-known craft stall, hobbying stall, I've seen very recently at £20 for a cabochon. £20 for a cabochon. What if I said to you, per one, you could actually pay £5? Not £20, £5. What if I said that was a lie and actually it'd be under £2 each? Your price point today? £14.95 per one. That doesn't work out. That, that's, that's not per one. That's not, you know, the £20 price point you used to see for cabochons of this. Oh, no, 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 no. That, if this was the cabochons, if these were cabochons and I sold them individually, at that price point, you'd actually be buying them per one, your price point, would be £1.66. £1.66 per one. That'd be it. That's all you're paying. One thing I do want to point out is the quality is, is stunning and you can see that spanning around on your screen in front of you right now. Um, lots and lots and lots of you want to get your hands on this today and do so because the quality genuinely is astonishing and you can see that. And don't forget, this is one of those gemstones which actually in kind of the studio situations doesn't show you off as much joyancy as you get in real life situations. You will get absolutely loads. £14.95 for you on these today. It's absolutely stunning. How? Is it 20 to 5 and we've not done a strand of pearls yet? It's Helena, because my well, producer Helena, you know, I know, loves, 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 loves the pearls. We haven't done any yet. Where are they, love? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, look at the sheen on those. How, look, I can actually, we're actually reflected in them. Yeah. They're amazing. Aren't they? Look how smooth they are. There's no rings at all None. on any of them. No dimples at all on any of them. And they're sizeable. They're gorgeous, mm. aren't they? Beautiful colour. Go with it, that challenge. <gasps> Oh, mm. that is, that's really good. Go with that challenge really nicely. Sorry, that was my accidental Furby impression. <laughs> Happens sometimes. And this is your plum cultured pearl. Size is amazing. But look at the smoothness. Oh my gosh, aren't they gorgeous? Look at them. You've seen that me and Fleur have had a, a really good look at these. We've got really, really close in there. No dimples, no lines, no candy floss tones on these, no candy floss marks, sorry, on these at all. Smoothness is impeccable. And we all know smoothness means high price. Price point today. No. No. That's what she's doing. <laughs> no. No. Why? Do you like that price? Oh, she's going down. Ah. <laughs> we need the arrow going the other way. <laughs> Blue wants the arrow to go up. <laughs> 9 yeah. is your price point today. What a lovely strand for bridesmaids, for tiaras. Isn't it? With, and with those um, purple amethysts, the amethysts that you did. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to see those. Oh, where is that strand? Oh, hello. Oh, hello, match. Meet made in oh. heaven. <sighs> My bridesmaids wore purple, and if I'd have seen those, that colour pearl, I'd have done that with oh. their tiaras and hair combs that I had made for them. It actually makes me feel a little bit emotional as a pairing. That is gorgeous. Do we have any of that amethyst left? We do. Don't forget, that was £7.95. Yeah. Um, do get your hands on that if you want it. It is absolutely exquisite. I love that as a pairing. Hello, everyone. Lots of multi buyers. Hello, Mrs. G and Audrey and Cheryl and Alice. Hello to all of you getting your hands on this. £9.95 on these gorgeous cultured pearls. I love them. £9.95 for you today. Lots of people are coming in for these. On the tea bar. Yes, I've got them. These huge nuggets. Massive they are. The, uh, got plenty of those pearls. I am moving on though, just because I know that we uh, promised you a fair few strands today and I don't want to let you down. So let's go over to that beautiful, it's fiery. Oh, gosh, look at that one. I'm gone. Look at that there. Look at, oh, fire. Oh, look at that. enjoy that 
Helena would like you to know a true story. It's a very important true story. Very important. Before, when she put it on the tea bar, she saw a rainbow. True story. That's what she's just said. True story, true story. You do, <laughs> you do. You can see rainbows in these at points. It's absolutely beautiful quality. It really, really is. <laughs> If anyone does want an interview about that true story, <laughs> Helena will be available. <laughs> You've got 135 carats worth for us here of this stunning citrine. What are you thinking? 25 pounds? 20 pounds. What, what price should we do? 7.95, true story. Uh, 7.95, what would you do with these please? Cufflinks. Love cufflinks for those. Definitely, no. but that is, um, I know Mark said it before, but it is the gemstone of stall holders as well. That It is a lucky gemstone if you've got some in your purse. I always put mine in the top left-hand corner of my table. Absolutely. And I, it just sits there, it's citrinum and black labradorite, mm. what you call that gemstone. Mm. But yeah, definitely pendants, statement pendants with that and cufflinks. In Asia in particular, this is seen as a wellstone and actually shops will keep it in their cash register, yeah. in the cash machine. Um, £7.95 for you today. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's breezy. It's just £7.95 for you today. The Spanish treasure. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, titty, wait, wait. Price point me. Fleur, do you have any Andalusite in your collection? No, because the only other time I've seen it, I was I'd stood here. <laughs> so I missed it both times. But I looked at it the last time I was here and... It's come truly on. stunning. Come on, it? come on, have I'm a look. I'm going to be look. jealous now. Come though, on, aren't I? look at you. <laughs> look, this is the one that I'm focusing on, but you pick one. Wow. What kind of colours are you seeing? Like, what colour do you see now in whichever one? Say I've that seen one. Red, see red. This one. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> and then as I'm turning it, what colour are you seeing now? Some amber colours in there, greens. It it's like is. the Labradorite flash, isn't it? Isn't it? Almost. Look at that one there. Oh. I was doing it as well. It, it's got that colour change possibility to mm. it, essentially. Um, yeah. Thank you very much, love. Because what happens with this is um, you've got all of these kind of different areas um, where kind of they string together, and then as you turn it, you'll get your side portrait, which will look really, really green, but then you'll turn it the other way and you'll get all these different areas that'll look bright red, but all in one stone. It's absolutely amazing, amazing gemstone. Known as the Spanish treasure. Um, Andalusia, obviously named after the location at which this was, is very much loved, um, Andalusia, and also where it was found time and time again. You, this isn't, uh, no justice is done in these studio lights for this. It is astonishing. It has those color changing optical illusions almost to it. Every single single one of these is astonishing. I cannot describe to you how important it is for you to get this home to appreciate it. Your price point today. Five pound back in your pocket, anyone? Should be 17 pounds and 95 pence for you today. We're putting five pounds back in your pocket. All I can say is, this is one of those gemstones that I know not everyone owns because we don't have it on that often. I also know that it's one of those gemstones that you, uh, it's done no justice in here whatsoever, is it? Genuinely, really? No, that red flash that comes through is vibrant red. Yeah. Like a fire inside yes. it. Yeah. Just like, I suppose it's like Andalusia when you, you see all the red, you know, the red sand dunes, like, it's yeah. just like that inside it. It is, isn't it? It is absolutely mm. like that. I will say to you, anyone who does want to get your hands on this today, maybe you've never bought Andalusite before, just imagine you're looking at one gemstone and when you turn it here it's red and then when you turn it here it's green and that's what happens as you spin this around because it does change colour and it's not just subtle it's obvious isn't it it is in your yeah. face like Labradorite. Yeah. Right. Uh, 12 pounds and 95 pence for you today five pound back in your pocket well done everybody we haven't done this strand in ages or a gemstone like this in ages i remember doing solar quartz and you used to get was it three? You've got one big one in the middle and then smaller ones either side. Mm. Something like that, wasn't it? Or five, maybe. We're giving you um, plenty of these today. Oh, my God. Look at them. I 
I just think they're gorgeous. Solar quartz is one of those gemstones that actually, when you see it in the flesh, it is just so much more exciting than what you're seeing now. Because what happens is, this is one of those gemstones that I will always say, take it out on a date. What I mean by that is, take it outside, take it for a picnic, take it on a stroll, take it on a walk. Because what happens when you get this into natural light is, this area around the outside, it bounces with colour. You get this rainbow glitter, like almost kind of adventurescence appeal to it around the outside of these. Um, solar quartz is so beautiful because you can tell it's it's the real deal. You know it's real. You can tell this is natural. You can almost see where it's been sliced down those sections and you almost get this natural banding, very similar to that, I suppose, of like age lines on a tree. We used to just do five of these, actually, didn't we? It's nice that we're bringing you more now. About 90 carats worth you've got here. Your price point today? Genuinely did not know that. So if I said to you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that'd be a pound each. Loads of you coming in for this. That'd be a pound each, wouldn't it, for seven? These are beautiful, perfect for your earring size, which I don't actually think I've said before. So that'd be a pound each. But actually, I've got eight now. Nine, ten... 11, 12, you have got a massive amount of these. Look at the amount you're actually getting. 13 of them I've got on my strand. You might get slightly more, you might get slightly less, but that works out 54 pence for each of these. That is amazing. I know, definitely, definitely, definitely. When we used to do the smaller strands, we used to be able to say that they worked out kind of two pounds each. Two pounds each, amazing. Working out around 50 pence per one, that is astonishing. The reason we'll be able to do that, genuinely, is because you at home. Genuinely, honestly, bottom of my heart, that'll be because of you at home. Because essentially, we'll have got in that kind of sample group, let's say, of your solar quartz. You loved it. We sold out. So next time we went to purchase it, we purchased more. We did it in bulk. We bought more. And that's how we're able to give you this price point now for that. That is astonishing. Wouldn't it look lovely with that Labradorite wheels? Because oh, the yes. white would, would make the Labradorite pop even more. Yeah. But you've still got the inclusions of the solar quartz that give that something as well. Yeah. Or a strand of moonstone. Whichever, you know, whichever one. But I think those two together for me yeah. would be would be my pairing. Yeah, and if you're looking for a natural pair then these are two natural stones. These are both natural. Mm. Gorgeous for that reason. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love those. If I was to do a pair of earrings, it would, with these, because um, they're the perfect size for me, yeah. the little ones at the end, yeah. for a pair of earrings, how much would I do for a pair? Um, Just a simple drop pair? Yeah, simple drop pin. pair. With sterling silver, you'd be looking at, I don't sell my earrings, sterling silver ones for less than £10. Uh, five pound if it's silver plated. Silver plated, yeah. So yeah, for just for two. So five pound for just normal kind of copper finding with your silver yeah. plating over the top. Five pound. Whereas actually, even including a shepherd's hook and a bit of wire, it would probably have cost me about one pound twenty to make. Yeah. Six pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. Lots and lots of you coming in for this. It's a wonderful, wonderful strand. Uh, solar quartz, ninety carats worth for you. Squeeze in one more. We're squeezing one more in. Just one more in. Yes, I completely forgot we had these. Where have they gone? It's on the table behind the tea bar. It's not. I know. I need it. They were there. I promise you they were. It's the bangle and the ring set. It was here. I know. I saw it. It's this one. Yeah. Is it just me being a Muppet? Am I not seeing it? It was a hundred... I think someone's cleaned it away. It was 110% there because it was next to the amber. Um, this is your gold-plated brass set of bangles. I have got the, you're an absolute love. Thank you, Brother Pete. Thank you, buddy boy. Uh, I've not got many of these. It's gonna be a sellout. The, the, I've got the last amount of these for you today. Um, let me show you exactly what we're getting here. These are your brass gold-plated set of bangles. Um, let me show you them They're with the chevron design on them, to what you can't see on the picture. Chevron design going all the way around this and then if I turn it you'll be able to see that you've got two of these you've got 65 mil is your size so it's going to fit on loads and loads of different sizes of your wrist it's the bangle design don't forget you can wear these up the arm as well if you wanted two of these you've got 15 loops to add any dangles two of those in total I've then got a matching set of earrings that also have the chevron detail 
those ones have got the chevron detail again and you've got the uh five loops on there and it's got the lock detail as well which i know is really important to people it locks into place and lastly but by no means leastly i've got the rings that also have the chevron design i've only got three loops in there gorgeous cluster rings you can do with this absolutely beautiful and it is adjustable in size as well so it's gonna one size fits all it is a beautiful collection actually just to have as is and lovely thing you can do with these is your slave bracelet it's your slave bracelet with these. Um, you can do gorgeous design with those, very, very simply. Um, and also, actually, if you put these together, if you put head pins in between these, you could do a really gorgeous cuff style effect, a cuff style bangle with these as well. You've got a complete matching set there. Your price point today, just £16.95 for these. They are a great base for you to work with. They truly, truly are absolutely stunning, astonishing. And they are just, look how eye-catching that is. Wearable, love the sound of it. Add any looks you want to these. £16.95 for you today. I'm gonna mosey on over to you now, Fleur. <laughs> how, how is your challenge, Sue? Yeah, I oh, wish I had more time. I could have done more. I just oh, loved it. Oh, you do. Oh, Larimar. Yeah, just I just thought it looked so lovely. Very pretty. Now you're not a wire worker, nope. we know that. But you can see actually how much we've done here. Let's just reiterate exactly what you were getting. You were getting a strand of your crazy um, agate, which is perfectly shown off here in your ring. 230 carats worth there. You also got those gorgeous drops. Um, sorry, uh, kind of marquee shapes, aren't they? Mm. Pa puffy marquees and that's your purple howlite that we have here so you had a whole strand of that as well 16 by 6 mil and we had da, 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 star of the show Larimar all three of these strands came at 10.95 I absolutely adore this very 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 briefly mm -hmm. how did we do this one because that's the it's one people want to yeah, know about it's just chain stitch and my crochet hook is a 5 mil crochet hook so it's just chain and did three or four chains and then popped I add your, your Larimar onto your reel of wire first and then just slide four up, do your normal chain stitch and that uses your bog standard um, crochet stitch and then just carry on. I did five strands and then made a, a little cone. Popped them Beautiful. In. Thank you so much for showing us all of those pieces. Uh, we've got plenty of those. We started off with about 150, so get them whilst you can. Love working with you as always. You're an amazing teacher. Thank when you. are we together, please? Um, I don't know. Don't know when we're back um, together. No. When are you next on then? Go on. Uh, Friday night. Friday night, okay. And then Sunday morning for the morning show. Lovely, lovely. We'll keep our eyes peeled yeah. for you then. Thank you so, no so problem. much. Thank you. Um, tomorrow I am joined for the first ever time by Karen Crawford. I love Karen. How have I never even met her She's before? Divine. She's, She's an enigma. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, that is what I have got for you tomorrow. Loads of deals, loads of offers. Have a lovely evening. The Late Show is coming up. Stay where you are. We will see you very, very soon. Have a wonderful evening.